Hello, everyone. We are back from hi, Texas. Se- hi, you sex sticks. How are you all? We went to Texas and we played with the Cowboys yeah, at the in dude the <laughs> We did, we did uh, horseshoe tossing on their dicks. It was really yeah. fun. Yeah, I was the bottom. That's why they gave me this purple shirt. Hey, guys. Very, very soon. Very soon. Spider-Man 2 launches at midnight. Very soon. Very soon. <laughs> How mad are you that, like, on the day of the Spider-Man launch that we have Scarefest for two days and you can't play it at all. I got an AI going to be there for me. <laughs> no, I, I can play it. I, well, because we won't be there until the afternoon anyway. I mean, I'm not going to stay up all night fucking playing it, but I mean, I'll play a couple hours and yeah, then come back once. Yeah. And then I'll, then yeah, then I'll, I'll just play throughout the weekend as much as I can. Then I got to go to Pennsylvania next week. Sometimes that sucks. I, I thought I was going to be like that fucking 14 year old. And I was, well, no, I, was, I thought I was going to be like a 14 year old. Just like, I'm just going to pack my PlayStation up and my game. <laughs> you should. No, dude. Cause I got to go out and meet like family and shit. I don't want to be out there and be like, I can't hang out with you right now. I'm playing Spider-Man. All right. I'm in the middle <laughs> of the fucking Venom story. Like you son of a bitch. Jay's meeting the family for the first time. Well, so I know I've met some of her family before. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. That's right. Well, yeah. but like but for the most part, and I don't mean I, I never I never met her mom dude. for real. That that's it's gonna be the first time meeting your mom. Yeah, that that's uncomfortable no matter what because like not because of them. I don't know them obviously, but like yeah, it's always the worst. I want to. I told her that's I said sweaty when hands. We meet, when we meet your mom and your stepdad, what I want to do is like we're sitting there talking to you. I just gonna be like, hey, can you get me a soda? And when you get up, I'm gonna smack you in the ass. Like that's right, bitch. <laughs> and I'm gonna say really, like, really I'm gonna say really real thick. That's right, ho. That's what we do. And he goes, "Hey, mama, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Papa, Dad?" It was some shit like that. And I know, I did say like, "What if you go, like go in there?" Because I never met her friends except like two of them. And I was just gonna talk it in Kentucky like a hard, thick ass accent because they don't watch the channel. I wouldn't either. But uh, I was just gonna talk it so they wouldn't know. And like, God damn, what I'm an find their emails and I'm gonna send them our most like disgusting video. Dude, who was that girl that we went to school? Do you remember a girl that we went to school with? Uh, I would, I know I was in Clark County Christian with her. I think you met her though, because I don't know. I, she might have transferred to GRC, but she worked with me at, at Rite Aid. Like uh, her name was, uh, I, can't, I can't say her last name because I don't remember her, but her first name was Taryn. Do you remember this girl, Taryn? I do remember the name Taryn. Yes, I do. Uh, April showed me uh, pictures of her. Cause she's supposed to like her and her husband are supposed to come to Scarefest. They work at Costco and oh. uh and so they were like and then she showed me the picture I was like that looks real fucking like she looks fucking familiar and it didn't end I mean it didn't end bad but I no I mean but I think there was like some weird like that was 20 years ago it was the last time I saw yeah. her it took 23 years ago she's gonna bring her husband there and he's gonna be like she told me about the time you did no that I saw no dude, he, that guy he, the, I saw her, yeah, he looks like a dungeon master there's no way it's not gonna be intimidating <laughs> <laughs> watch they're probably watching it. Hey, let's check them out and see before we go and meet them this is what they're dude, watching I mean, there's right nothing now. wrong with that like fucking matt mercer is like a sexy looking dude and he's a dm <laughs> we play in no i'm fire. saying like we recognize i feel like he's got this energy like this nerd energy there's not gonna be any hostilities it's yeah. not like that i didn't do anything wrong i just don't remember I, it's been a long time like how do like people haunt you from the past you're like i don't know if i fucked you over or not but you know if I did, hunting. it's been 23 years ago. <laughs> it's good. You should call her and do the thing from um uh I fuck which which I don't remember which Adam Sandler movie it was. When he got is it uh when he calls uh, Steve Buscemi, he's like, Hey, I just want to let you know I did some really messed up stuff to you, and I'm sorry. He's like, It's okay. And then he like Steve Buscemi rubs lipstick oh. all over his face and then he crosses. I'm sure there, there are people list. like that in our past that would be like psychotic like that. Maybe we're on a list somewhere that we just don't know about it. We need to call everybody, but I don't See, know. What people don't recognize about us is that we would be the people who have those lists. I got called today, and I, this is a running. Th- I've seen this before, by the way, uh, that people say about us. They're like, um, this person today was just fucking unhinged. Like, I disagree with them about a Scorsese movie on Twitter, and they were like, "Yeah, well, I don't care about your opinion because I don't watch frat your fat your frat boy." The fat boy would make sense, but they're like, "I don't watch your frat boy show." You, but you don't like frat boys. <laughs> and I'm like, I think you have the wrong idea about who we are as a whole. But I've seen it before, dude. I saw on Reddit. Everybody's actually being very, very nice. Um, but they asked like, who, uh, what update channels, like, whatever do you do you watch? It wasn't. It was like a Halloween board or some shit like that. And a bunch of people were super nice. They're like, yeah, Mike and Jay from Wham are the best. But like four different comments said the same thing. They were like, they're they're a little bit broy. They're a little bit fratty and like broy. But other than that, they're pretty good. And I mean, I'm like, wait, what? What are you talking about, dude? Yeah, like, bro. Let me pop my collar up, bro. 
Like, seriously, <laughs> just because you weren't invited to the fucking Sigma Beta fuck you party, you, you could take your little goddamn virgin ass down by the fucking creek and cry yourself to sleep tonight. You loser. You fucking loser, bro. Crab cakes and football. That's what Maryland off, does. I'm I like, would, we got picked on by the frat kids first. I off. never, okay. yeah, and I, I never even been to, I never even, well, no, I did see a frat. I never got fucking, I never even applied to one. I went to fucking an online university. I didn't apply to one either. I didn't want to be in one because I'm like, those people are, no, no offense to anybody who's in frats, but like at that time in my life, I was about 40 pounds lighter and I dyed my hair jet black and it stood up to about here. Put it this way. I was in college for about four weeks. My mom came to visit me once. And one of the lines I'll always remember she said to me was, look at how these people look at you. They look at you like a freak because you're dressed like a freak. I'm like, I'm just wearing skate shorts and like a t-shirt, mom. <laughs> I was not that person. I dre I dressed. I mean, I had prep clothes on. And I always wear prep clothes, though, even before it was fucking stylish. When you were still considered a nerd wearing a button up shirt, I yeah. wore. I've literally had the same fucking style my entire life. Like, it's a big yeah. deal for me to even have like hoodies on, like you saw in the last video. That's a big, big deal. I don't yeah. ever usually have hoodies, but I even having the same, the, 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 uh, the clothing requirements for those frat houses and shit. I, I, it never was my scene. Now, if it was like a video game frat house, like where all they did was play video games or like, like if you could learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons, because I still want to do that, I'd know how to join it. <laughs> yeah, that was actual call. I wasn't doing like nerd. No, I know I wouldn't. Actual call. No, I couldn't do the other shit though. He's like, hey man, put Trevor's dick in your mouth and see how long you can put it in there. Huh? I will. I will. Okay. I yeah. thought this was supposed to be hard. Get it? <laughs> yeah, not that's not us. I don't know why. I don't know why I put off that that vibe. I really don't get it. I, mean, a lot. I guess. And we drink. Okay. He's like, go have a drink. I was like, you just went unhinged over a Scorsese. First <laughs> off, the person said that Scorsese's movies are immature and that he would take some other. And I was like, dude, I sounds like wow. his sex life's immature. Wow, or non existent. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> totally non existent. Uh, I see a lot of comments about the haircuts. We both got haircuts. We both mm -hmm. got haircuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wearing a hat because I got my shit fucking scalped. Like, my shit's super short, you know? Like, look at that thing. I told Jay it looks like I got one of the Nazi scalps. Uh, yeah. not like Nazi, but from the, um, you know, you look uh, like, uh, yeah, you look off. like, you look like you're still a part of the American history X and you're running with, uh, whatever his name was, <laughs> fucking, uh, Calvin, whatever the fuck his name was, the main guy. Uh, yeah, yeah it was actually funny. We were talking briefly about it. Yeah. I got, um, it's the weirdest thing. I hate going in. Like I, um, with, with having nothing in my hair, if it's not already styled up because it's like when they cut it, when it's like flat, it feels like I get a weird haircut. Like, I don't know. I don't like it that much, but it is what it is. It had to be done. It had to be done. It's yeah. getting too long. And I have to go meet the family next week, so I can't I'd be looking all shaggy McShagson. Oh, see, I got mine for Scarefest. I was like, that's why that's also why I've been dieting a little bit. Because like I was like, no, it's not that I like I'm not trying to like pick up chicks or anything, honey. I promise. I was like, but all those pictures people take of you, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <it's> like <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, like, well, I would, maybe take down a couple pounds for the scare fest folks i don't want to scare the children you know what i mean mm -hmm. um but, yeah uh no that's good man uh, but you got it you got to cut at the right time though because it takes like men's hair you get the cut on the day of and it never looks great you always got to give it a couple days to like settle into that fresh and that's the, that's the sweet spot like one week after a haircut is the best you know yeah. well i'd already taken a hair well, i'd already taken a shower before i went to the barber that i took another one and before we went on tonight, and it's it's just not. I feel like the trauma is just too much for the veins. <laughs> yeah, it's never right. You think after you after you shower the first time and you style it, it's like no, now it's gonna look good. And it's like oh no, it doesn't. I know. Um, I, it, this also funny. Like uh, I use the same gel. I've I've used the same gel my entire life. La looks. That's all I use. La looks. <laughs> and and, uh, and I used to use the Aussie uh, squirt bottle Aussie. And then I switched over to Tresemme. And Tresemme is a lot, like a lot healthier of a hold. But I was, because I was, the, uh, today I tried to use got to be glue. Fuck that shit, dude. That, that your hands already, like in five seconds, your hand goes to concrete. You got to style your hair. Like the only way that it works is if you're trying to style your hair like a punk rocker. Like where it's just, it doesn't matter. You're just going through and boom, it concretes out immediately. So I, I was yeah. like, yeah, this is what happened. Because I I'd fuck, and, and then my fingers were like shit. And I couldn't do what I needed to do. It's so funny, dude, because I have to use the concrete shit on my hair. Because well, it used to be well, my hair thinner. It's, well, <laughs> uh, I don't have as thick a hair. Yeah, like my used to be thick. I still use the really thick stuff, but it's still thin. But like I now, but like yeah, I used to have to like put that shit in. And when I was like younger, before we started the channel, you guys didn't see me then. I had it fucking straight up. It was like straight up, like fucking simple plan style. And that shit was like if if I poked a fucking uh, 
if I poked your raft at the swimming pool, it was popping. There's like no doubt about it. It was sharp and it was hard. Like you break your fist on it to try to punch me in like the head. Like a dick. Uh, yeah. Well, the, yeah. It's, it's funny because I remember mom used to have a. Uh, she like if I ever ran out of like the squirt like hairspray stuff, she was like, just use mine, honey. And she do mom used the same fucking hairspray and it was aerosol <laughs> and it was rave. And that like the, like she used that since the eighties, dude. And she had this fucking Jericho perm, and it works for <laughs> shit like that because she's like, woo. And like she sound like it, like like she like by the time she was done using her hair products plus the dyeing, it smelled like a chemical factory had spilled somewhere in the house and everyone was turning into the incredible hole. It was like fucking stinging your nose. But she's like, use that aerosol. That aerosol shit is the worst fucking hairspray to use after you gel your hair. It's because your hair feels like hay. Like it feels like <laughs> hay, like brittle yeah. hay in Kansas. I I've never been a hairspray guy, but I have on several occasions came to your mouse and mama and, and to your mouse to your house and my mom's in the nightgown. Not like a sexy nightgown, guys. Come on, calm yourself. She's old. So Fucking gross. perverts. Uh, I wish no. She, she was she'd be wearing like a, a nightgown or whatever, and she'd have those curlers still in her hair doing the perm thing. Yeah, She's smoking one of those like slim one hundreds, like, Virginia slim. You know, yeah, yeah, Virginia slim one twenties. Those goddamn Cruella Deville cigarettes. But it was funny because <laughs> she all because when she called Aunt Peanut over to come do her hair. They, they wouldn't do like, I don't know what the fuck they were using to do. They were like using toxic Avenger chemicals because it smelled. <laughs> it, I, I was like, I never smelled anything like that before. And it, it would just, it would burn every fucking nose hair you had straight up into your, into your sinuses when you breathed it in. And, and, and she's like, oh, honey, that's my dog. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. Cause it was like industrial strength that I bet, I'll bet Aunt Peanut had a tub of it in her house that she she'd saved from the 50s when it was like all that fucking harmful <laughs> chemicals and shit dude i had aunt peanut cut my hair one time never again never again of course i asked her to shave it but when she shaved it she put on like a number fucking four trimmer on it <laughs> shave that bitch yeah. so i had like that much like fuzz on my head look like i had a fucking football helmet going around my head yeah, well, like, she, I think the problem, by the way aunt peanut was uh, she used to be a, a, a i don't know what they call them a, a, when a woman and not a, it's just not a stylist uh a lady of the night cosmetologist Coffee i think that's what, yeah a cosmetologist she, used to, she did that for a little while but she wasn't used to cutting men's hair so she fucked that up and i remember this one time my brother cody got like a haircut real fucking bad dude like straight up like all the way to the, to the ball <laughs> at the back of his head like that's where that's where they cut it off and he was getting his hair cut by this old man and i never got my and i knew he was like we went to the same barber shop but that that it was run by a father and son and the father only knew how to cut two styles of hair it was either a burr cut or like a, a buzz and and so cody gave him this complicated look or not even complicated just a, like a like a trim and he fucked his dude like he looked like forrest gump like it was like forrest gump haircut like he took his uh up to the sides all the way up here all <laughs> and then he was like is it bad i was like no dude it looks good like i was watching his, his, his <laughs> Jay, you would fucking say that you're like no man i like it I because like he was in the middle of getting his haircut i'm not gonna be like dude stop him now just let him finish it's already over it's almost over <laughs> Dude, Cody does that shit too, though. Like, Cody, you can walk up, you'd be like, you like see him for the first time, and you could like dye your hair pink and like and like like get a tattoo of a fucking dick on the side of your face. Like, dude, I think it's really cool. You should keep it. <laughs> yeah, but dude, well, I <laughs> you feel like lie to your face. I couldn't stop him while he was in the middle. Of, yeah, I felt like that scene in uh, the Green Mile when he was like, "He's still alive." Do you want to turn the electric chair off while he's still alive? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like it would have ca caused emotional shock. But when we got out, like he called Aunt Peanut, and Aunt Peanut said, "Oh, honey, I'll take care of that." And she she burnt like she like completely shaved his shit down, but that's why that's why like basically balds himself now. Cody like goes on a one. Did that start? Did that start? Yeah, that? that's when he just stopped that's doing any. Yeah, oh, shit. Cody used to try to do the Tom DeLong. Of course, he had thinner hair, but he would try to do the Tom DeLong yeah. where he'd split it in the middle and try to like <laughs> he grow it out. He had those fucking beads on his. He had yeah, the fucking gauges. like orange Hurley shirt, the long ass dickies, the gauges. Yeah, and the gauges, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but he got, he started losing his hair a lot a lot earlier than me. I mean, I've got a bad receding hairline, but his was like really bad. Yeah, I had that LeBron James hairline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that yeah, shit we was sliding to... back like a moonroof on a Camaro. Uh, you guys should have seen us back in the day, man. We both had the super saggy dickies all the way down to his ankles, the fucking tube socks, still the trucker hat, is the exact same. Some things remain the same, but so much has changed. I, yeah, dickies I only... don't look cool now. The only I ever... I had a pair of Jinkos. It was the only like fucking punk thing I had. I had a pair of like <laughs> Jinkos. And I was the only guy. Yeah, they were like seventy fucking dollars. Yeah, and, and I wore them like all the time. But that's all, the only one I ever had. And everything else was just like normal, like khaki pants or like cargo shorts or something like that. Yeah, I remember. I, I my we my mom would never buy me the Jinkos, but I, I bought a pair of shorts at Gadzooks. Mm. So when I did, they were called OTB on the brink, and they were just like fucking corduroy shorts 
just regular ass corduroy shorts. They're on the clearance racks. They're like fucking twelve ninety nine. So she buys those for me, and everybody's like making fun of me. I'm like, dude, these are Jinkos. No, you don't understand. That Jinko owns the company. It's a Jinko subsidiary. You know, you yeah, know what I mean? It's called, like, yeah, like they own. Yeah, they're, they're like the Anheuser Busch owns. Yeah, like yeah, Bud Light. Like the thing. Blinkos, not the Jinkos. The Blinkos. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody bought it. No, yeah, I just not, the Blinkos. Did yeah, not those Jinkos were not. They don't make the. I guess they still make Jinkos. I don't even know. Those big fucking like huge flared like on the legs and shit. No, they don't make them anymore. Yeah, oh, I, I don't know wonder so. because kids kept knowledge. dying. They kept tripping on them and falling down steps and shit. <laughs> if they still made Jinkos, there is a faction of the world like those fucking uh, flash mob goth kids that would totally wear Jinkos. You know I what? Try a pair on. It was funny. Mom always said the one style she wished came back, and I was like, I don't, I couldn't even imagine is fucking bell bottom, uh, bell bottoms, like legit. She still had like three or four bell bottoms that my uncle used to wear. And she's like, honey, they were the most beautiful pants I've ever seen on a man. They were beautiful, that- <laughs> beautiful colors. She said they were beautiful colors and men that had the right size, their legs. It was just beautiful. They looked stunning in those bell bottoms. <laughs> and I was like, mom, it, they, yeah, dude, she thought they were, she thought they were like great looking. She's like, oh, they were wonderful. <laughs> and she's like the butterfly collar. And the and the and the in the chest opened up with those bell bottoms. You could she's like at that man looks stunning. If a man if a man walked down the street in those days with that outfit on, he had class and money, and you knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like got that Hugo boss on. I it's know. I was like, God course. damn, you must have been loving fucking the Brady's. Like that dude must have been yeah. your crush. That man didn't shop at Marshall's like you boys. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny. She, back, she she still had, I don't know where it is, but. She had a box of um, my, my other uncle. Like uh, he had a pair of because uh, he was fourteen or fifteen in the eighties. Uh, he had a pair of parachute pants. Like when they first yeah. came out, like the fucking parachute pants. Any and, he, and uh, like they, they those were like apparently really popular. And he I, he said he had the uh, Michael Jackson Thriller jacket or something looking like not the actual Thriller. I mean, he's not like he got Michael. He didn't get to he didn't get invited to Michael's bed, and then Michael <laughs> gave him the jacket. But it was like a jacket like that. But I would actually wear that jacket. That thriller jacket, that fucking thing was badass. That's I don't was... think he could pull it off. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nah, it'd be I mean, great. To be fair, You're I don't lying. know anyone. You're who lying. Could. Red is power, and I would wear it well. <laughs> I would watch you wear it, and I would support your decision making. I actually, I just want to get the goddamn drive jacket. Okay, I just want the drive yeah. jacket with the scorpion on the back. You could find it on Etsy. I mean, it'll probably cost you. No, you can find it on Amazon. It's like ninety bucks. Fuck that. Yeah, expensive, expensive. No doubt about that. Joey Hebert, almost Herbert, who plays. Oh, you got Los a fresh Angeles haircut Star- too, Joey. I like it. Yeah, looking good. Looking smooth. Do you guys ever watch The Walking Dead? Uh, yeah, I, I tried to watch. I think I got up to season six or seven. When it first came out, I was I was up. I was I watched every uh, season. And then I got really fucking bored after The Governor. I feel like I feel like the problem with The Walking Dead is it didn't know when the show had run its course. And they they just kept going and going and going and going and pulling out storyline after storyline and digging themselves further and further into this uh entropic type of plot that everybody it was just like a like nobody there, there was literally one season where they don't do shit they just fucking <laughs> talk about doing shit but they don't do shit every fucking episode they talk about doing shit but they don't do anything and when i first started watching it, it was cool because you had shane in it you had the drama that actually worked with him fucking uh rick's wife and that was like a whole goddamn crazy thing but you had action you had like it really did feel like they were under the knife they had to survive and there was like this like awe-inspiring onslaught coming towards them but then when they slowed down and then they drug it i and i know a lot of people who love the governor storyline i just thought that shit killed the momentum like once they settled down they started doing this whole thing and maybe that was the point but i felt like that the the highs were high some of the highs were really great but the lows were too many so i stopped watching but i did try to give it another chance and i got all the way up to seven i think the seasons and I, i couldn't do it anymore like it got fucking when rick left i was like i'm done i don't even give a shit anymore spoiler alert by the way (laughs) <laughs> I yeah I can never get into it. I watched like the first episode and I was impressed by it. Tried to watch a couple more. As soon as I found out that the one of the main dudes was banging his best friend's girlfriend, I was not interested anymore. Like I can't ever side with you again. You're a piece of shit. I don't care if you're Joe Bernthal. Um, but uh, I've I have seen the yeah Walking Joe Dead Bernthal is, the, is his brother, but John is okay. John. Shut up, Jay. <laughs> Don't Bernthal. fucking correct me. Joe Bernthal sounds um, like he fucking makes hubba bubba bu- a gum. <laughs> Whatever. The, 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 the Punisher was, was awesome, but not as good as Thomas Jane, that guy. Mm. Um, but... It's true, you know it's true. I don't want um, to say nothing on camera. You no, know it's true. Don't, don't you hide your Don't you dare entrap me. I'll lift your skirt and fuck you. Uh, I promise. Uh, 
Uh, I, I have seen The Walking Dead in person, though. Uh, Jay's ex-wife, after a box of Franzi and a couple pills, uh, yeah. you will. It's scarier than anything in the show. That's my ex-wife you're talking about. Shut your fucking lips. <laughs> Don't you ever. <laughs> Keep my ex-wife's name out your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> hey, no one's nicer to their ex-wife than Will Smith is. I'll tell you that. I'm not, not allowed David, to speak. On he, keeps on, he keeps on digging him. Question her is racism. Uh, we already um, talked about that. Did we talk about that last thing he just did? The simp shit? The simp <laughs> is on point. This guy deserves a Pokemon card with like a fucking holographic backing where it says simp of the decade. I've never. She said they were separated. And he's like, yeah, well, I didn't know she felt like that, but I support my beautiful, loving wife. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I, you know what it is? I heard this, dude. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't care. But supposedly, she's got the goods on him saying that he's gay. And that it's not. And he don't, And then people are like, they were suspecting him to be homosexual for years. And they're like, oh, Jada knows. Maybe she caught it in bed with another dude. Or she knows or has got proof that he is. I wouldn't. But I was like, that wouldn't be enough for him to shut his... Like, why would you just let a woman beat you over the fucking head with her female cock over and over again? I... Um, just because you're gay? Who cares? Hey, be careful now. All right? Be careful now. Some people don't believe the female cock exists. But I will say well, no, this. There is not, um, I, mean, I know what you're talking about. But I'm, I'm, I'm a proverbial female I know. cock. <laughs> that was a joke. Not like I, a real I, one. I, uh, I have been beaten with a female cock before, and it doesn't feel good. But I will say this. Um, or sometimes it does. But, you know, I think that I what I saw was that I someone said that he came out and filed for divorce. He was like, I'm done with this shit. And all he said was like, okay. my notifications are off. I don't want to hear about it. And allegedly... And this is through the grapevine's grapevine. He filed for divorce as well, which is like, it's about time, Will. That is an emotionally abusive relationship. And well, she he, has taken her emo emotional abuse and used it to grandstand herself further. Yeah. And that man needs to get as far away. Even the kids came out and they were like, we really wish all this would have stayed private. Yeah, your mom's out there hoeing this news out to anybody who will listen. And the whole world's begging her to shut the fuck up up no one well, cares she's that she's you dated tupac once she's a narcissistic bitch obviously on full display she's always wanted attention she craves attention she wants to be the center of attention she wanted to use will's success to keep that attention on herself she loved tupac shakur's dick a lot more than will smith because it sang to her and rapped to her in a way that she liked when she sucked it How and then on top of that the kids it? i don't fuck the kids the kids How are retarded listen the kids are the same fucking kids that got on there I'm like i'm glad that he smacked her i'm glad that he smacked him and then they deleted their tweet. I was like, you are just as fucked up as, as Will Smith is. You guys have li been living in a bubble of confusion and, and debauchery your entire fucking life. Well, they, you don't they've even know also what the probably been is. kept shelter, though. It's and probably not real. I don't really blame the kids. because like, I feel like the kids are as fucked mom. up as the mom is. The mom has literally made them. They She has made their father look like the biggest chump in the, uh, ever. And, like, and at what, one point, he was the coolest dude in the whole world. He used to be. And then all of a sudden, he gets like just slapped down and beat the shit out of uh, like in national TV and no That's one's, but by the way, I will say I, I, I'm torn on. I, yeah. 50% of me feels bad about Will Smith and, and he's obviously suffered some emotional damage and that's what he was doing. But the other part of me is like, dude, you have the option not to be a simp and not to be a fuck up and just say, fuck you bitch to your losing hair ass fucking ho ass wife and not slap Chris Rock on national TV. That's what your alopecia loving ass should have done. I think that what I think that the emotional abuse that she gave to him is what drove that moment to have. We've talked about it before. Like he did that because there was probably years and years of berating and belittling, and you're yep. not a man. And Tupac was a real man. And then on live TV, someone cracks a harmless joke about his wife, and his brain exploded. And I feel fucking all. I feel, I feel well, like he shouldn't have done it, but I still feel bad for him. I, I really was do. I feel bad. I feel years. worse for Chris Rock, but I feel I bad. I was changed to 12 years for a, from a fucking demon, which there was no escape that was on the same level of the narcissism that Jada Pinkett sure. Smith. And I fucking didn't go smack somebody in the mouth because they said something bad about her. But she didn't date Tupac. So that's the difference. Luke Weber said, thank, thank God. <laughs> mm. How do you feel coming up as a dude in the fast? Um, Thank you for tying your shoelaces tonight. Oh, you're like, welcome. You finally recognized. You're that welcome. We do that. I tie a lot of shoelaces. I was gonna. Do, I I woke up specifically. It's like I gotta fucking tie my shoes for for him for you. Today's the day, Eduardo Santiago. Y'all look. Eduardo, up LA, well, you gotta do it right. You gotta be Eduardo okay. Santiago. Y'all looked up LA Knight yet? I think it could make a great skit. Jay as Loomis, but speaking like Knight, and Mike as Chalice doing the Stone Cold. I don't know what. LA Knight. I don't, know, I, don't know. I never heard of it, but I will look it up in your honor. 
in your honor i will die tonight cody buchanan thanks buddy says hey guys so what time you be at scarefest friday all night five to ten are you telling us what time you're going to be there or are you asking are you telling oh, us you're when we're going to be there? Man. holy shit dude don't tell me what to do cody uh just kidding uh five to ten uh hour and we can't wait to see you guys be driving for me was, yeah man uh that's a trip dude we appreciate it i mean obviously you're not coming just for us well who would do that but like um we will be there i'm going uh, for jack Os osborne yeah jay's going to try to finally finally he's gonna finally fuck jack osborne <laughs> that's, uh, all I've, that's all i've had my that's my wish list since he was a young boy he's just wanted to fuck jack ever osborne. since i saw him um I hope this gets him. I, you know, I we're gonna be there at three. We're gonna be there by three on Friday. That's what time VIP opens up, and we'll be there until close Friday. And then Saturday, I want to say we'll be there on time. We've never been, so don't count on it. We're very we much have Zach never... Morris when it comes to fucking being on time on Saturday. Friday is usually a night, um, so we've never been on time on Saturday. But I can promise you that we will be there on Saturday at some. We'll be there hour event time in the middle definitely dude, in the middle catch us in the year, ice cream sandwich of the day when we came in late and that dude he was an awesome dude don't get me wrong i, I thought he was cool um the the ghost hunter guy that was across from us and he mm. you know like when you sneak into class late and no one's noticed that you're late yet and no one said a fucking word and you're like there and you're like fuck yeah he was like i want their hours i'm like yeah. god damn dude no one <laughs> even knew we were late <laughs> It's fair. Yeah. Uh, and we probably, we usually aren't there on Sunday. You may catch me walking around with the kids, but we're usually not at the booth on Sunday. Um, but well, you yeah, know, to be fair though, we're not, we're also not getting like, and, and now that, I mean, we didn't ask for anything. I mean, we don't ask for any special privilege, but we're not getting appearance fees or anything like that. Like if it was to be a different story, <clears throat> if you're getting paid, like a certain amount, like some of the other celebrity guests are getting paid. I mean, I have a hundred percent. If someone's paying you a lot of money to be there, you better be there. Like, absolutely. That's that's deserved. Yeah. Well, I, and I think in his case, I think that guy was a vendor. So he was paying to be there. But like, it's it's a we're in a weird. He was on. No, he, was on he was on TV with them, with the uh, with the uh, ghost hunters. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. But yeah. he was I think he was also selling a book or something. I can't he was remember. selling something. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if they actually pay appearance fees for people to be there or if they I don't just know. count on they well, make certain ones like, like Robert Englund right. or something like that. Yeah, I have no idea how all that shit works. I really don't know. Uh, I know that we show up and they're like, who the fuck? And we're like. Yeah, it's, they, it's you guys. know what they, they always even, nice, though. yeah they, they treated us well i mean we, i mean there's there's been a couple of like uh like uh rocky situations early on when we went to Scarefest, but it's all been ironed who? out who yeah we want who they're like oh yeah so yeah you guys sell con no no fuck the shit yeah, I wish. Do you have any? I'll sell them. Yeah, and that that's the big difference. It's like you know, there's not there's not a, it's not like we have a line of a hundred people waiting at our table at all times to where no. we would we would be there all day. We there's plenty of time for the people who actually want to see us to be able to see us while we're there. So it's that's why we're not there every second of the time. If there was a large swath of people and everybody only had a certain time, we would totally be there every minute. But it's not necessary for us. Uh, there's there's moments where our booth gets busy, and then there's moments where there's nobody there. Yeah, so there's ebbs and flows. Ebbs and flows. Show Jacob with the fucking big Jacob. super chat. Jacob. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah. Uh holy shit. New Alkaline Trio song. I fucking know, dude. I was just watching it before this. New Alkaline Trio song yesterday. New Blink song today. New Green Day next week. Hell yeah. Love you guys. And Mike, what are your thoughts if you've heard them already? And Jay, I'm drinking a Michelob thinking of you because I ran out of PBR. No, you're not because you ran out of PBR. You just said it, Jacob. <laughs> you just lost on the on the defense stand. For, God, well. I appreciate it. It's a superior light beer. Um, yeah, you know, I dude, I fucking so for those of you who don't know, Blink has been slow. They've been edging the songs out, as they would say. Uh, new song came out today called "You Don't Know What You've Got," and it's about Mark's cancer and what he went through with that. Fucking awesome song. I saw some people complaining about it because it's very simple. It's a little bit poppy, but it's a heartfelt song. It's got a lot of meaning to it. I fucking love it. I love everything they put out. I wasn't a big fan of the um, um, "Remember the Time We Fell in Love" song at first because it's super poppy. It sounds like a Chick Fil A commercial in the beginning, but now I fucking fell in love with it. It's got. It sounds like the Cure. It's it's a fucking bop. It's awesome. Jay, you'd love that song, by the way. I'm going to have to play it for you. I'm going to no, play you a lot of Blink this week. Yeah, no, I'm going to do it. You're going to hear it. I, don't um, I promise you're going to fucking hear it. I don't want like it unless it's all the small things that I'm not talking uh -huh. about my dick. 
<laughs> but uh no the interview they did a, the interview every every blink fan has been waiting for came out today with zane low uh they did an hour and 15 minute interview where they talked about the breakup and they talked about everything and how great it is to be back together and how mark almost died and all of it i cried like seven times watching it because i'm a fucking just i'm probably just i think i'm blink 182's top 10 biggest fans i really do the way i feel about it the way i mark my calendar for it the way i know my wife children and jay um but it was, it was so good, dude. Uh, you guys yeah. should watch it. You should listen to these songs. New album's out fucking Friday on the same day as Scarefest. You were talking about Spider-Man? The Blink album comes out that day, too. That day. That fucking day, dude. No. I'm going to blow you so much while we listen to that record together. I, I can't wait you're, for your dick to be my ass. But it's yeah. not sad and gay what you just said. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm, the not number okay. one, I'm their number one fan, though, for real. I, I uh, know that did. Yeah, that was pathetic. But I, <laughs> it's like, I'm their number one fan, though, for real. I, but I, 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 it's the only thing I get like that about. Like, I, and I don't no, know. I, I, I love fine. I, Halloween. I, I, you know, I, I love I, Halloween. I envy anybody love that it. has that much love for one thing because I don't have that much love for anything, even my anyone. wife. One. It's not even like <laughs> one or anything. No, it's nothing. It's just like I live in a fucking <laughs> void of useless and fucking soulless existence, the void of life. No, I really, um, I, like I had a passion a long time ago for like comic books <laughs> and like Marvel, and then I grew up, and then I didn't, and then I had a, I had, I switched it to something, but I never had like, like the, God damn, I must have this in my life every moment, <laughs> like I yeah, it. and I envy no, like I envy it because I don't have that, I don't have any, I don't have anything like that with any fucking band, well, no band. Tr- the truth is, dude, is that honestly, when I see people do this, like even like, like, you know, what's convention, like, or whatever, like about certain things, I'm always like, that's so weird. Like, that's so weird that you're getting so emotional about it. Yeah. Uh, it's the only thing I'm like that with. Like every single time Blinks releases a new album, I get all fucking emotional in my car, listen to it, like cry while I drive. And I think about the sun. Dude, you know uh, what it is? I think I might be, I might be sociopathic. I don't fucking know. No, it's I'm not. Be, I'm weird. I'm the weird. No, I mean, I might be like, cause it, nothing like gets my Ganges going at all. Nothing. Like, it's, I mean, it's it kind of does. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm excited. And then I'm like, all right, I'm bored. What's next? <laughs> I'm like a fucking addict. Like, I, what's what's yeah. the next fucking high? That's and if fair. it's not there, then I'm like, now I have to face my inner demons and think about things. Fuck you. Yeah. Give I just me that listen coke. to the song again. <laughs> I, I get it though. That's the only thing I'm like. That. I'm, I'm hyped that you're hyped, Jacob. I hope the new Green Day song is great. You know what I'd like to see, dude? A fucking pop disaster tour, tour too with Green Day and Blink torn at the same time again on their next tour. Holy fucking shit! I would love. I, I would come. love to see. I would love to see the. Uh, I would love to see the new uh, Savage Garden album, but unfortunately, that'll never happen. It could happen. They're Don't selfish. I never thought Blink would be back together again either. And dude, the new Alkaline Trio song fucking rips. The video, by the way, you guys would like the video. It's got zombies in it. Shit, it's a horror video. It's called Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs is the name of the song. It's fucking great. Um, gonna go to Chicago to see them too. They're, you know they're weird, and- I was just thinking about that. The only like I don't think I've ever well, there are certain songs that will make obviously get your eyes all misty and wet, like a girl will never get for me. But <laughs> uh I will hey, say I'm switching batteries. But I feel like there's more for me, it's more um that what gets me like cry is is uh emotional movie scenes like i don't know maybe it's the visual thing but like that that always gets me like obviously like rocky 2 was is is uh, like it doesn't matter when i watch rocky 2 at the very end of that movie when he screams for adrian he, like he says yo adrian i did it and he goes and to my wife who should be sleeping at home like that like that shit is like that that gets me all the time the homeward bound ending um there's multiple like uh, the, even the fucking monster squad the ending when when she says goodbye to Frankenbeans, uh, Frankenstein, <laughs> it gets me all the time. But I guess maybe those are, like I get more invested and in, will cry at certain. I mean, you could literally turn on the ending of Homeward Bound at any time of the day, and I could watch that, and my shit will mess up that, like yeah. that. It Movies do get me too. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I, it's just I, it doesn't. It, songs don't do it. Like I can listen to a song and be like, "That's fucking sad," but it won't like it won't make me like have that emotional attachment. That is true about Jay. If you put on an emotional song, I'd be like, dude, listen to these lyrics, man. This explains our situation perfectly. He'll be like, dude, I'm fucking depressed. Turn the song off. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, I don't want to do inner <laughs> reflection right now. I've had a bad fucking year. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, at the same time, though, like, it's, it's, it's like, I, maybe I just don't connect with it like certain people do. I don't know. And I, I think, not- and, 
yeah and i'm the opposite i feel like some music like blinks music i feel like it follows me around i won't get into it i made a whole fucking video doing the tier list it's on our patreon where i talked about like for i talked for a fucking hour about how i feel about blink when i do so i'm not gonna waste anybody's time <laughs> if you're actually interested in that you should check it out it's on the fucking lowest tier you can watch it a jay raven said ultimate found footage mike our tape or do we not talk about that you great beast you're not supposed to show anybody the time of you and me in the dumpster behind Arby's. That was our special time, Jerry. I can't believe Mike called his dick the great beast. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like you can yeah. like share the limelight a little bit with Jerry. I have seen some uh, vaginas that look like roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> just seen oh. at the end. <laughs> that shit looked like goddamn hanging shower curtains. Fuck, it looks like, like the weekend they, at no, halftime like, of the Super Bowl. No, they look like, they look like shower curtains that have been like wet with mildew and, and, and just like hanging oh, down God. over the fuck her I hope, I hope she gets fucking herpes of the fucking pussy and like i think to... that's i think that your hopes um, have been congratulations you just got your first wish um all right let's we, we still have more super chats to get to and we will let's jump into the tier list for a minute just to by the way i said pussy on purpose because i know it makes people uncomfortable when pussy is said instead of vagina honestly jay i don't think that it makes most people i think it's just my wife like she hates that fucking word so mm. bad and because of that i found it so taboo when someone says that i always go oh you know yeah, well, uh, twat. or moist, twat. Cunt is one that she's fine with, which is weird. Twat like, that is weird. Dirty. I don't know. Twat should be brought back. I feel like twat has got like a lot of a uh, ump to it. When you say, "God, oh. you're being a fucking twat, dude," dude. If I call her a twat, she hits me. She, it's supposed to be the ultimate word. say you shouldn't call your wife a cunt or a twat at all. Like, like when I was younger, like, they was, like <laughs> if you call like if you call a girl a cunt, like you are like it's like it's like taking the Bible and wiping your ass with the pages in the middle of yeah. church. It used to be bitch, but I feel like we all graduated. Like the internet yeah, well, changed. Well, bitch is used so much now. People got you know guys call each other bitch or something. So it's yeah, you can't enjoy any rap music if you're offended by the word bitch. Yeah. Um, uh, we're doing found footage tonight. Got a fuck ton in here. God, that was so boring. Many. All right, guys, check it out. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Unsubscribe. Uh, so of course this is the first one. It's oh, sort yeah. of found technically love, found footage. Hardcore that, Henry. Dude, I yeah, dude, I like that. That shit's like Duke Nukem and Doom all rolled into one. I like that shit. Yeah, but you remember when we went and saw it at the old movie tavern and we were both sort of like, I'm going to throw up. Yeah, because we, we were drunk. And But I mean, yeah, after like, but I still enjoy like you. I, I think that it was, I feel like it's one of those movies that like passed under the radar in a lot of ways. I feel like it did a lot of things right. And it did like, and it, and it bought fully into the, the, um, the first person immersion. Like it didn't break once. It didn't have any kind of like they were trying to do something goofy with it. I thought this was cool as shit because it was a found footage, but it was like a POV first person shooter type of game, but it only was. realized in a movie. I thought, I thought it was really fun. I again, it was one of those like one shots though for me. It's not like one of something that you would watch over and over again. Like it's a, it just gets cooler every time. It's a pretty rad yeah. for me. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm okay with pretty rad. I, I'm torn a little bit between pretty rad and fuckable. Uh, because again, like you said, I've never gone back and watched it again. I remember yeah, it was, like that it was, was fun, fun when it happened and you were uh, drinking with watching it with your friends. It's cool. But. Yeah. Let's put it in a let's start the show with a positive spin and we will go with let's the put it right in that version. pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it right in that pussy. <laughs> yeah, put that pussy dog. Um the taking of Deborah Logan. I've never seen bitch. it, so I will not be able to answer this question. Uh, I am going to, uh, this is perfect because we can also show you guys, if you're new to the, our tier listing, we sometimes, when we can't make a decision because we're you keep going. I'll be right back. I'm not going stupid, to. Stupid, stupid fuckholes who smell like our own farts. Um, who doesn't smell like their own farts? Um, if you fart a lot or enough. Uh, I'm trying to kill time as I click through to the thing I need to click to. So don't judge me. Judge yourself. You need to. You find Jesus and is that uh, is that Nancy Pelosi? Oh, yes, it's, she it's is Logan. Mary Magdalene's aunt. Oh, uh, I see. I see. Oh, look, we are uh, already demonetized. Uh, without well, I even think trying. that was in the first like two, 20 seconds. Honestly, I, I think I'd be more offended if they didn't demonetize us yeah. at this point. It's a bad job. Um, so we poll you guys when we can't make a decision, and that gives you guys a part of the show and a part of us, and it helps us to not be shitty at our jobs, which we are. Um, so would you call this? I don't I, I don't think anybody's gonna say all timer. Uh almost touches the sun. Would you say pretty rad? And I also don't think that anybody's gonna say it sucks, but Steve's butt. It's better than that. Uh, Her eyes look like she's chewed, chewed like two packs of dentine ice. 
<laughs> uh, it's like cold burn <laughs> so that's that poll is in the audience for you guys to vote on i would say based on my memory i only saw it once and i remember going oh it was pretty fun it was all right but i do see people all the time be like fuck take the double logan man i would say fuckable probably myself but we'll see mm -hmm. what you guys say uh moving right along moving right along foot loose and fancy free um we will while you guys vote on that how do we feel about this guy right here, old host, sort of found footage, sort of zoom. Uh, that movie this is sucks. Movie. It sucks Jay, so bad. It wasn't even scary. Jay literally lost a year of his life watching this movie, and we filmed the whole thing. It's on our YouTube channel. You should check it out sometime. You big pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'd okay. Be, you know what? Uh, That's enough. I, I I remember. Yeah, it had a lot of very uncomfortable moments in it, and it was it was unnerving and it, and it was shot really well. I, I would put it at pretty rad. I don't think it's any more than that though. I don't, I think that it was like, it scares me, but anything could scare me. A loud fart in a dark room will scare me and I'll scream like a five-year-old girl. But I think this movie, as far as a horror film goes, it's not anything like spectacular or amazing, or it broke the ground for other movies to come forward with. I think it's a pretty rad movie. Yeah, I think, I mean, I do think it broke ground in, in certain ways because it was during COVID. It was shot during COVID. Stop like, arguing with me. I, I'm, <laughs> you're wrong. Everything God you say damn, wrong. Charles, where you're were you? <laughs> uh, but I, I think just at the time, it came out during COVID. We didn't have anything new. It was a fucking sensation. Jay, you're shitting on a sensation. But I do agree it's pretty rad. I think that's exactly where it goes. Sensation. Uh, in excess y'all recognize uh but no fucking great jump scares a blasty blast to watch and my favorite part about host is it comes in at a cool like hour long that doesn't try to be anything it's not doesn't try to add a bunch of bullshit story it's a bunch of people on a zoom meeting and shit goes fucking too too so uh yeah i'm with you dude pretty rad it goes pretty rad it goes you hoes see like Host has more exciting jump scares than like the Conjuring movies that everybody pays twenty dollars a ticket to go see on a Friday night and sit in the theater for three hours mind. watching Ed, Lorraine, Warren make out, even though actually they were a fucked up couple who had a fourteen year old pregnant girl in their house that the dad was banging. No I can't wait to see. That. I can't wait to see the host sequel. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it didn't make enough money. Oh, it did. It did. It did. They made the guy. I didn't make a sequel. It didn't need to. Shut I, up, Jay. I think the Conjuring Two did suck. I mean, anybody. I mean, I think it was all <clears throat> terrible. And three and four. How long was that? Uh, the, the The Conjuring Two was like fucking almost. Uh, it wasn't three hours, but it felt three hours because all they wanted to do was focus on the love story. Yeah, Conjuring Two was every bit as fuckable as I could. I could say, and I think the Conjuring Three was no better than fuckable Two. But careful, because people love Conjuring movies now. They're gonna come for year. Come for your first wife. Good. I like the first one. They're going to come for your butt. Um, fuck, I'm not no. going to do this one yet because now that Jay or I have seen it yet, and that's going to be totally on you guys, but I know some people do love it. How about, how about, uh, how about, uh, how about we give Steve's God damn, fucking yeah. love? Because this I, I, thing sucks dingleberries. Steve has a lot of KY jelly glistening on his ass cheeks, and he's just been waiting for something to be stuffed inside of it like a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel the gallows needs to go straight up in that, and he needs to taste the DVD cover all the way. What a fucking... You did it, didn't you? You stuffed it like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, yeah, what a fucked up, terrible ass, goddamn shit movie. I can't... Yeah, I remember watching... We went to the theater and watched this, and it was fucking god awful, dude. It was such a bad movie. It was so cheap. It, it, it was such a, like a rush to production type of thing. Like it, it's like they forgot what kind of fucking movie they were supposed to be making. And it was so for it was the most forgettable thing I've ever seen in my life. It literally was all, all those movies that you see in the Walmart bin that are two dollars or two for five that are like those off budget shit movies that never make it to the light of day. Yeah. It was like all those movies rolled into one, and somehow they made enough money to put it on the big screen. Uh, by the way, while I, was, while I was doing that, I looked over and my, my wife was just shaking her head and putting her headphones in. I would too. Yeah. <laughs> like, God damn, why did I marry him? Um, but no, uh, I, I also like um, why we were talking about that. Yes. 
everybody everybody in the uh uh in the chat was like fuck this movie sucks this movie's ass and poor zombie fair at 13 you just got this one dude zombie fair at 13 he goes i enjoyed it well you gotta have fighters <laughs> for things that nobody else likes that's what makes you brave good for you we, we respect it zombie hey if everybody had the same opinion the world would be a boring fucking place uh for us though on this night it goes into steve's asshole because steve's asshole's hungry and it wants to eat mm -hmm. and we're gonna put the gallows in its ass like r kelly's ass <laughs> now in prison it wants to eat a lot of dick coming for that where's he gonna put his pee now uh in the case of taking deborah logan the audience oh it's tight it's tight like a tiger i'm gonna wait one more okay there i gotta in the okay fuckable 35 percent to 34 percent to like 31 percent. it was a very tight vote tight 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 so tight it was tighter than what deborah logan deborah logan's you, you just passed it giant oh there it is okay taking deborah logan no one took her that's why it was so tight it goes yeah. to fuck she looks like an aged carrie <laughs> like if carrie didn't die like you know fuck, she she's fucked up she's fucked yeah. up dude nobody wants to fuck that yeah she looks like the lady waiting uh, uh the lady ahead of you at the at the local quick care she's like a she's like the waffle um, house waitress that's been there forever and she never got her knight in shining armor and but she's just <laughs> the world yeah yeah when she gets her tip uh fuckable i think that's what you guys said let me double check i was too busy running my fat mouth off shut up jay you uh, fucking fuck mouth. mouth i didn't say a goddamn word to you, you will fucking, I'll, I'll take you down i'll take you down to chinatown <laughs> okay uh i've never been <laughs> i'll bend you over and show you who, who i am <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll show you about america i'll teach you about america uh grave encounters donald is that you uh <laughs> The Listen, I, I know this is going to be controversial, and, and people are going to be like, what the fuck, dude, for real? I put this, it almost touches the sun. I loved yeah. this movie. And, and you know what? It was it was such a unique treasure of a movie to find because it really wasn't advertised that, that well, and, and I didn't even know about it. I don't know how I stumbled across it. I think Mike mentioned it or, or, or somehow or another I, I saw it. But what a great movie and and i love the fact that there it's got that indie vibe to it that it's a very it's self-produced or not self-produced but it's like a, a a small studio made it and i love the fact that they make fun of the zach bagans and the ghost adventures bullshit and the obvious like grifting nature of these ghost shows which is all about like let's try to make a boo boo sound a booger monster that hides in the closet and and makes money off the dumbasses that think this shit's real and then they wind up having a real life paranormal experience and they're fucked and they have no idea what to do i loved every bit about dude grave encounters is great man grave great. encounters yeah it's the movie that you show your buddy who comes over and he's like so you have a fucking horror youtube channel huh? why don't you show me something i haven't seen before it's scary grave encounters is the movie you throw up like it's yeah. not it's not fucking classic cinema it's not gonna bore anybody like it's not gonna impress somebody with your sense but like if you want to like shock somebody like it's the it's it's a crowd pleasing movie that wasn't experienced by crowd so it's a really great recommendation to your average buddy who's just yeah. like hey man what horror movie should i watch tonight um yeah, I feel like this got, is like something that you would find that somebody at Blockbuster would recommend you. If you didn't know what to rent, yeah. you know, like somebody that was a wise and old Gandalf the Grey of Blockbuster, he'd be like, let me tell you, child, come. Yeah, I yeah show. exactly. And, 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 by, and, and the guy, and, and they were all good actors. They weren't annoying. None of them were annoying. I didn't even, I didn't hate really any of them. They weren't any, there weren't really any bad actors in the movie. Yeah, and as Jay said, my favorite part about it is that, because as you guys know, I do not believe in the paranormal. I believe in aliens. I, I, I. I maybe demons. I definitely don't believe in ghosts. Just like walking around, like ooh, you're such I don't a, believe in that. You're such shit. a dumb shit. It's heard fake. Sometimes. I swear to God, dude, it's a fugaz. Okay, well uh, then, fucking fake. dispute the body cam footage of police officers that picked up EVPs. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I really did. Oh, that, God, that, that one. Me. That I think that's the, that, uh, you know me. what? Even if even a skeptic like that shit, the fact I don't remember what um the guy that killed his wife and three kids. Uh, like in 2018. Chris Benoit? No, that wasn't that was earlier. No, the guy that literally killed his wife. She was pregnant, and she and they killed her. His two daughters to be with that. Chris Watts. Chris that Watts. Piece of Dude, shit. go and watch the body cam footage when they went into the house. You hear the weirdest shit. Like. Like it's fucking scary, dude. Like you hear like a woman, clearly a woman, when they're in the bedroom where he supposedly strangled his wife, where her, you hear a woman clearly say, "This was our home." It's fucking scary shit, dude. Look it up. 
It's scary, man. It's on YouTube. You can watch it yourself. It's unedited. It's uncut. And by the way, what oh, makes yeah. it more convincing? These are fucking cops. They're not going and looking for the paranormal. It's just caught on their goddamn body cams. Yeah, cops, the most honest people in the world. It's our body cam footage. They're not gonna be like, <laughs> "Hey, man, I couldn't go in there and do my job because there's a ghost." Hey, we do. We do have a cop in our midst that we appreciate and love. Love you, Tim C. Uh, I, you know, I just, yeah, yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe that. I think that's I don't believe fixed. the Zach Bagans shit. I don't feel, I feel like Zach Bagans and, and, and the other ones, I feel like they're like obviously grifters and they're like, they're like circus tent people. They're like, hey, we got some magic formulas and it'll make your hair grow back. And trust me, I might have tried it. It didn't work. <laughs> JK, I'm not even going to repeat that. I'm fucking ashamed of myself that it made me laugh, dude. That is fucked up. Read what, what JK happened? put in the chat. JK, are you being? I feel I'm gonna have to fucking. I'm not even religious, being, and I'm gonna go pray because I laughed at that. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you being, you being atheist. Take your atheist ass out here and get some fucking religion, motherfucker. <laughs> what happens if you die? You come back as a fucking ficus. Uh, no, but all in all, like I, I love the fact that they called bullshit on all the fake ass ghost hunting shit that goes on. I'm not saying yeah. everybody that does it's fake. I, you know, there's some good people or whatever. But like, I always, I every time I see those shows, I'm like, yeah, okay, the demon possessed you. Um. But well, like that's, they that's make fun of it, and it's hilarious. Stuff. And I think the movie's smarter than they give it credit for. And it's got good jump scares, and it's scary. Almost touched at the sun is where we stick it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get in your hole. And it's not just because we're in the sequel. We'll talk about that later. Well, we are, yeah. But we got game. the vicious brothers really viciously ripped our asshole up because we didn't get no goddamn. Yeah. We were supposed to get like a poster, and like a balloon, was, and a coffee dude, mug. We get nothing. I wish. I wish they were at fucking. I wish the vicious brothers had a booth at Scarefest because I was. I'd be like, I'd, I'd go up there and be like, "Hey, buddy, we were in your fucking movie and we were promised the DVD copy because that's how long ago they was, were like, they, we you didn't know, they, get shit." They look it's like you guys were in our movies. You guys are ugly as shit. We wouldn't have put you yeah. in our movie. Oh, we were oh. even uglier then. So, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. But I mean, can I get my goddamn coffee mug? And I don't even <laughs> drink coffee. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get no fucking swag. Nothing. That night was so sad too, because Jay and I, was, Jay, Jay we was were like, like we were in a the, red carpet premiere. Yeah, yeah. Jay was still married to the the Wicked Witch of the West, and yeah. like they came over our house. Uh, it was a duplex. They came over our house, and we said we ordered some Papa John's. We we're like, damn, Jay and I are going to be in this movie. They tell us, and like we turned it on, and we 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 had to rent it. We had to pay for the movie ourselves. Yeah, it was like twenty bucks. It was like 15. Yeah. I think we had to rent it off like direct TV at the time. Still had cable. Uh, yeah. The cord cutting wasn't a thing yet. We, we paid like 10 bucks. Uh, watch that. We came on and we did our t like nine second bit and then it was over. And, and then we were like, damn, this movie sucked. <laughs> yeah. You know, listen, I thought it was like, I thought it, like it was so powerful that it actually cut into my ex wife's cheating texts for five minutes. <laughs> and that was strong. But then, yeah, we were only in it for like uh, like thirty. Seconds. But you know, listen, it was an honor to be in the movie. But we I, and we're not really pissed about it. But it was just, it was kind of weird. It, uh, it was our <laughs> Actually, first. I don't want to. It was kind of. It was our first rub with like that whole like other world. It was kind of cool because it was like another world for us. And then they're yeah. like, "Oh, we're gonna send you all this shit." It was like a dad that says, "I'm gonna pick you up at the park. We're gonna have a great time." <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, "And dad never showed up." And you had your baseball and your baseball man. You're like baseball stuff. And dad was never there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we were like 27. We really had like 27. We, were, we subscribers. Just, the channel wasn't old. I mean, it was probably like a year old. Greg Harris has a signed copy. I believe it. Greg, are you coming to Scarefest? I fucking hope so. I want to see in your face and rub your beard. Uh, I have to rub the toilet though. I'm gonna go pee first. <laughs> okay. You fuck. That's fine. Uh, you can do yeah. it. Oh, don't do act it. like you're not upset. You're upset. I am. I'm extremely angry about it. You're fit to be tied. I don't give a to fuck. my bedpost tonight. Oh. Um, ooh. Ooh. What what uh where did we leave off? Uh, 808 Chris Creasefold, who's not coming to fucking scare fest. Crease, man, what the fuck, dude? That's all right. Oh, because you live in New York and you've got a job. Whoa. Jobs can't come visit us at our booth for 12 seconds. Jobs, you're busy living uh, your life. <laughs> uh, obviously, oh, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, I got it. <clears throat> Chris, Chris 808, huh? Oh, hi. Uh, Chris, oh, yeah, listen, I'm going to go to the bathroom and touch me little pee-pee. I'm going to pull it out of me asshole where I've been hiding it this entire time. It's so small, but it also stretches. I'm going to lick it to it. Oh, it smells like poop. Oh, ooh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to eat it like a little corn cob. Look at this. Oh, now me doing the inside voice because Mike's not helping by not doing the sound. You're yeah, supposed I to make the so. grizzly noises. <clears throat> you actually seen that man eat a dick? <laughs> <laughs> whole cock. Uh, yeah, um, Tree says, uh, hey guys, always love the broadcast I think, or broadcast. I, I get what you're saying, but yeah, man, thank you. Yeah, I didn't know anything about the Reddit thing. Um, 
I guess we can come across as a bit much for people that are new. Um, maybe we come across as like a bit abrasive and we seem like assholes. But to those people, I just really want to take a moment and say, fuck you. So, uh, yeah, I mean, listen, you know, we, we do our way, we have our way, uh, and it's not, you know, if it's not your cup of tea, it's not your cup of tea, you can move the fuck on. I don't know why people have to, you know, feel like, uh, they need to comment on, on stupid shit like that. Anyway, uh, Eduardo says, I remember the days Jay would wear ties. I, I, what I wore ties. It wasn't to do the reviews. I wore ties cause I got off work. I, I used to work a 12 hour shift at CVS and then I would come up and do the review like right after that. So I was still in my work attire because I had to wear a tie to work. But anyhow, uh, Child of the Corn says, uh, yo, what's good, fellas? What's up, man? Stoked for Scarefest this weekend. Fuck yeah, dude. Aside from the Halloween franchise, do you guys have any go-to uh, go-tos around Halloween? Also, can I join the frat? Fuck yeah, dude, you can. You're already invited. I mean, you don't even got to do like weird shit. Like you don't have to like sit on an egg or put a carrot in your ass. You're already a part of the group, child. Uh, as far as like go-tos, as far as around Halloween, yeah, um, I know we've talked about this before. One of my my go-to movies, uh, like I always uh, pop this in, or I pop this. That's what she said. I always put it on the streaming. Uh, it's always in my list. Is uh, Pumpkinhead? I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but it it it, it always makes me. It, it's like my happy place, and I know that sounds weird, but it, it makes me feel good. But not scared, but it just it's got that Halloween feel to me. You know, I don't know. It, it's got like this vibe of like um, Grimm's fairy tales and this really cool story and 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 setting and and the characters are awesome and the setting. I, yeah, it, you know everything. I don't want to repeat myself, but yeah, it's it's Pumpkinhead for me. That's the go-to Halloween film for me. And then another one. Um, that's hard to say, but I but right like it, there's Pumpkinhead will for always and always be my my go-to Halloween movie. Um, uh, Christopher Sampson. His last name is named after one of the strongest bros in the Bible, for sure. Uh, hi, have a great time at Scarefest. Villain ideas for DC Lauren Boebert as Poison Ivy. <laughs> Mitch McConnell as Mr. Freeze, plus Matt Gates as a creeper. Oh, wait, Mike, may I email you? Sure. Uh, yeah, those actually sound good. By the way, Lauren Boebert, I don't care what, you know, what your political uh, aspirations or, you know, aspirations, but your ideologues, ideological uh, person is, like, whatever. Whatever you believe, whatever your politics are, she's hot as fuck. She's hot. And Mitch McConnell, he looks like a Mr. Freeze. He, well, no, because Mr. Freeze is smart. Just because McConnell freezes when he tries to talk doesn't mean that he's Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is actually a very... Uh, compa not compassionate, but a very empathetic character that you can you can understand in a lot of ways. Mitch McConnell is just a angry ass old man that wears the pins diapers that should have retired like fucking fifteen years ago, but has been around since eighty four or eighty three when he's been elected. Literally, can you imagine that? Like he was elected to office in eighty fucking four. I was born in eighty four. This motherfucker's been like helping run the country. That oh my god. Anyway. There needs to be fucking term limits set as far as like age and age requirements, not just term limits, age requirements. I know it's unpopular in some in some parts of the country, but either way, thank you, Chris, man. I wish you could come to Scarefest. One day we will meet up and I will and we will do the, the fucking like badass like predator handshake. It's going to be awesome. Uh, moving on down here. DJ Graham says, love the Halloween with the candle in the background, Jay, and the green lighting in the background, Mike. For a second, I thought the ghost face mask was green. Yeah, this, I, well, I didn't do the the, the background for this. Uh, my my awesome wife did this. I didn't do anything because I'm lazy. I didn't do shit. I was literally just going to leave it the way that it was because I don't have any type of creativity in me to do anything. So she decided to do all that stuff. But thank you, man. Yeah, Mike's, Mike's background looks fucking amazing. My, my shit looks like fucking Kmart. Like I went to Kmart and I bought a bunch of stuff, you know, as they were closing. Excuse me. My phone was letting me know that it's nighttime. <laughs> um, Red Pill Cinema. By the way, thank you, DJ. Uh, Red Pill Cinema says, uh, could you do a series review of the VH, uh, VHS series? No. Uh, I, I We did a review for VHS 
the first one, and it scared like dookie nuggets out of me. Um, the vampire one, and I never went back and watched it. Mike might have done some more without. I, I don't know. Uh, I I don't want to do that though. I don't. So, but Mike might. I mean, Mike likes that shit. But but we appreciate you, Red Pill. Thank you, man. Uh, Wild Willie. Love the channel. I keep coming back for y'all's authentic and charismatic energy. Great stories and great combos about movies and everything else. Do either of you play Texas Hold'em? Who better? Well, thank you so much, Wild Willie. Uh, I find myself sometimes having a Wild Willie, and then I get slapped down with a restraining order. But uh, regardless, I would say uh, we're, we've are we never – I don't think we've played each other in Hold'em. Um, but we both love it. I mean, I used to – uh, I don't know. There was an Xbox thing with Texas Hold. I don't know. I had something like that, but I played it. And I, I, I played the old school, like when it was on Yahoo. Like they had a Texas Hold'em like for free that you could sign up for. And I played Texas Hold'em there. I know that Mike played Hold'em. I, we've always enjoyed it. It's, it's a, it's a masterful game. Um, and only the sexy survive. But no, I mean, as far as who's better, I mean, of course I am. Okay, I had to hold a straight fucking poker face looking at my ex fucking hoe all the time and saying, you don't have a problem. And then I'm happy. Everything's fine. So yeah, I've got that experience. No, that got too sad too quick. I don't even know what happened. I'm going to rewind that and move on past that. I don't know. We could be equal, but thank you. Wild Willie. It's nice to see you around and thank you for coming back to the channel. Uh, keeping on going here. Luke Weber says, Jay, we all know you wear Velcro shoes, not lace up. Oh, he got the Velcro. I'm going to pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. Uh, I wish I, Hey, look, what's wrong with Velcro, man? I don't, I got goddamn laces. All right. Just cause I got Jordans and shit. Don't mean I'm fucking less than you, Luke. Why'd I show up to what's wrong with Velcro? Now, <laughs> fuck you, Luke. You got a problem with Velcro? You got a fucking problem with pump up? I got pumps too. Not the goddamn high heels, motherfucker. I'm talking about the pumps. I got them. Well, do they sell those work? anymore? Like those, like those no. old school, like pumps. What brand was the pump? What did that though? do? Was it just Wasn't pump? that supposed to make the shoe tighter? No, I think it was just supposed to make you jump higher, but it was all a lie. No, I, I, I know. I swear, there. like when you, I never, I never owned them, but they look like little basketballs. Yeah, and they, but I, I, I think it tightened the shoe. I don't know. I think I don't think it actually did anything. I think it was just supposed to make you jump higher. It was a great gimmick, you know. It's got to be the shoes. NBA so got to be the shoes. All PJ right. Flyers. What timestamp are you at? Uh, I was. I, I just answered the eight twenty six with Luke, uh, obviously insulting me. So you can move past 826. <laughs> no, okay. I'm kidding. By the way, look, we love you. I'm kidding. I know. I don't care. Yeah, if I have Velcro shoes, I'd wear them. If they were if they were those goddamn LA glow shoes that light up on the hills, I'd wear those. those I don't are care. Fucking dope. I want those. Yeah. So uh, after 826, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Velcro shoes not nice. So. That's that's good shit. I like that. Hell Raider. Fucking Raiders beat my Packers last week, you piece of shit. Would you guys be open to the idea of Michael Myers' wardrobe changing in future films? A different color jumpsuit or lighter, darker hair? No. No. And it's a very interesting question, actually, because they've never done that. But do you know the rage in the streets of Reddit? <laughs> the non-existent streets of Reddit? Oh, man. I, I, one of those fucking scooper pooper people came out uh, when Inns was coming out. And they were like, oh, my God. It's a fact because my name's but dude 12 and i found it out um that michael myers is dressed like a hobo and like carries an axe and all this crazy shit in halloween ends didn't end up being true it was the they got it confused with the homeless guy or something but like yeah i don't think i think rob zombies halloween 2 did that right they gave him the fucking hobo look and a beard and like half a mask and like we, we all hated it i think i'm not gonna say it could never work like the thing is, is like, could they ever make Michael look cooler? Like, is there something they could do to make him look more menacing and 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 scary? I, it's hard to imagine because the 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 navy or dark green or or, or gray or whatever color jumpsuit was always an accentuation to the mask. It, whereas the mask, you're supposed to project your fears onto it. It's this blank, pale, emotionless face and all that shit. But like, the jumpsuit was just so plain it really put the focus on the mask. So anything you do to that outfit is going to take the focus away from the mask. I feel like, you know, especially like an orange jumpsuit would just look silly. I feel like, and they did do the orange mask scene, you know, in, in Halloween as well. I have a hard time seeing it though. I have a hard time seeing anything working like, but that being said, like that's why the filmmakers are the filmmakers. They could come up with something really cool, 
Um, I'm not going to say never, but if you came to me and were like, do you think this should happen? And you don't get to look at it first. I would just be like, no, no, Steve, don't do it. Don't do it at all. Um, when we do our skits, I don't even wear like the boots and people are like, you fucking ruined it. Let's just see your fat fucking feet. Um, Daniel Flores, we will see you bitches Saturday. Get it up. I'm fucking so pumped, man. I, I think I'm looking more forward to this scare fest than I ever have a scare fest. I don't know why. I, I maybe we just had a lot going on the past couple of years. Um, and this year just feels like fun and fancy free. You know, I don't know if we might have two people at our booth the whole weekend, but like, I just, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm feeling great about things. There's no fucking drama. There's nothing. It's like, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a fun time, man. I can't wait to see you, Daniel. Come say hello. Daniel Flores says, what strip club do you recommend in Lexington KY? Well, that's an easy answer. The only answer is the Spearmint Rhino. There are several that I have, and I won't say frequented, that I have uh, been to. Uh, before uh don't get tripped up and go to um what's the deja vu don't get tripped up and go to deja vu unless you're under 21 yeah deja vu is like an 18 plus uh it's where we used to sneak in before we were 18 it's a fun story actually we used to sneak into deja vu before i was 18 and we would go in there and like they didn't even have like alcohol then uh, we would just go out in the car and drink uh and go back inside but like when i actually went there when i was 18 they were like it was for my 18th birthday and they were like you we've seen you here before i'm like no you haven't so just just look at the just give me the id back and then they take you up to the stage because it's your birthday and they embarrass the shit out of you they put you on the stage and they put you in a chair in front of the pole and on your way up there the first thing that happens is security guard comes up to you and he shines light in his face and he goes you see this fucking flashlight you touch a single one of these girls and i'm gonna stick this up your fucking ass and you're like thank you and then they sit you down in the chair and on your way up there all the girls are on the stage and they're all like you fucking virgin you fucking virgin piece of shit you loser probably never seen a titty in his life and it's just like a it's like <laughs> it's like the kid in halloween when it's like uh uh um oh god what is it oh what is it uh he's gonna get you he's gonna get you it's like one of those situations and then they all like do their dance on you and everybody's cheering or whatever but then the big girl she goes all the way up to the top of the pole like a like a big fucking squirrel like kingpin squirrel she climbs all the way to the top of the pole and you're sitting at the bottom of the pole and she gets to the top and you go this is some fun acrobatics what's next do you have like a student alt band that's gonna show up and then she just lets go and then she falls all the way down onto your lap and just squishes the shit out of your dick. Um, anyways, yeah, Deja Vu is an 18 and up place. Um, uh, but Spearmint Rhino, it's going to be more expensive. You can smoke inside and it's really fancy inside and they have nice chairs. And uh, it's definitely the one that I would go to for sure. But more expensive for mm -hmm. sure. You know, so he asked what strip club uh, is best in Lexington. I don't know. I, I remember that one. That one lady, all she did was smoke all my fucking cigarettes and tell me about like she's only working this job to take care of her kids. And like, <laughs> did her, we go to one at like ten thirty in the morning on like a and, Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, it's the saddest <laughs> shit you ever seen. Like, we looked like we were working for Tony Soprano in between a job. It was like the Avengers. Now it was like the C Team Avengers. <laughs> yeah, but dude, I remember that that one girl. She came over and she had like these this is years busted, ago, guys. Years yeah, ago. I, I haven't been in a long time, but she had these busted, broken ass nails. And like it was like a like she was like a Shania Twain music video, and like she like she set her baby old ass down on my lap and she smoked all my cigarachos. She smoked all of them, all of them. And that's just expensive. And then she was like, "What?" She's like, "So what you do?" I was like, "I got a degree in, in psychology." And she started telling me all this fucked up shit about her life. I'm like, I don't fucking care. And then she's like, "So you want a private dance?" I was like, no. Do you want to get a job where you don't fucking depress your customers? Go get a job at Denny's. <laughs> the first time I ever brought Jay to a strip. Well, no, this the first time that was old. We got kicked. That was a mess. Um, mm -hmm. I think we've told that story at Patreon before. We didn't actually do anything wrong. Don't worry. It's not anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like the first time I was at a strip club with Jay and the girls, because you know, they come around and they sit next to you. And like you said, smoke your cigarettes and they try to talk you into a dance or whatever. Jay went full fucking. He went, <laughs> I'll never forget my fucking life. Jay immediately got into like a deep conversation. He was right. like, "So why why don't you think about like going to college or if it's like you seem like a smart girl? You seem yeah, because it was already because she set the fuck she set the pro like that's what we were talking about now. I was like, we're already here. You've already like established that we're not here. This is not a customer uh, client relationship anymore. This is like a fucking like you you want a session, so we'll talk. He, he went full fucking Captain Save Ho. Jay was gonna fix her life. Via conversation. I had no desire to be with a stripper. None. 
<laughs> but I, I also did find like she was like that attractive. And I was like, you smoke, you know what? I was like, I'm bored. So we'll talk. What's going on with you? <laughs> Someone said fancy spools that I need nipple piercings and stretch marks. There are places like Cowboys and like the sketchier ones. If you're looking for the sketchy stuff where maybe you, you might get a little dim sung. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but uh, there are probably ones you can go to. Deja Vu is not the one for that. But if you want a nice, com comfortable atmosphere, uh, that's definitely the one you want to go to. Carolina's <laughs> also got like a weird – they got like a thing where you can't leave. Once you pay, you're fucking stuck there. And then if you yeah. smoke, which they'll let you smoke in the building – you have yeah, to buy from their cigarette night. machines, and they're like fucking fifteen dollars a pack. You can smoke your own cigarettes, but if you want more, you no, know, I'm saying yeah. But once you run out, you have to go to their cigarette machine, which they've marked them at like fifteen bucks per, yeah. like per pack. I, I heard from my buddy that lives in uh, a state I won't name in his state, which is a sketchy state, uh, a sit, sketchy city. Uh, uh, they were they was like, no, at those at these strip clubs, you can pay them like an extra fifty bucks, and you can actually like do sex stuff. And I'm like, that's, I wouldn't do it. Cause the girl's like this one girl told him, she was like, this is like my 15th one tonight. And I'm like, Jesus, that poor girl's mouth. Yeah. Like, you know? as, as you get, apparently as you get closer to that strip club, you can literally see like a Batman single, the sign for crabs <laughs> flashing in the air. <laughs> Don't around do the it, fucking man. Building. Don't fucking do it. Those girls are just trying to get through their night. Isaac Halverson says my cat got hit and my, oh, this is definite change of pace. My cat got hit and my girlfriend broke up with me. I think I'm going to write a country song, but no joke. Things have been bad. I'll take any prayers or good vibes. Much love. Hey man, send in uh, all the best to you, man, for sure. Like that sucks, dude. It's nothing yeah. worse than your pussy getting hurt and your pussy leaving. That's the worst. That's the worst fucking thing that you can happen to you. But At for real though, it does suck. It does suck. Yeah. So, uh, prayers and uh, thoughts and and goodwill to you, Isaac. Hope everything turns out well for you, man. And hey, you know what? It always does. It always fucking gets better, dude. Starkest before the dawn. Keep your fucking head up, man. Uh, we're rooting for you and all the good vibes your little butt can handle, my friend. Um, speaking of butts, mm -hmm. you know what movie is total butt? The Gallows. Yeah, and that's where we put it in Steve's butt. But mm -hmm. also, a movie that is butt. I'm going to pick one specifically now. I have to find one that's actual butt. Um, Did you ever go back to the, the, the Troll Hunter one? No, I need to do I need. I do need to do a vote for that. Actually, I can't see any off. Oh, this one's butt. Uh, did you ever see this, it. Jay? No. Woo, buddy. Area 51. Found it footage. Looks, it, looks like, it looks like Michael Myers walking up to Jamie. <laughs> not our, not our, our Laurie Strode in Halloween 2018 when she's like, ah! <laughs> happy halloween michael uh dude this was the coolest idea because you guys know me i love alien movies like i love them uh so when this came out it's like found footage movie from the director of paranormal activity i believe it was orin pelly was his name producer of the purge this is one of blumhouse's big turds uh, i think it was blumhouse pretty sure uh nothing just nothing these people fucking found footage super shaky cam they go to area 51 they find shit and it's none of it's good it's an absolute waste of your fucking time it's awful it's horrible it needs to be stuck into steve's longing quaking ass that's uh that's, that's two, two in a, row. that's a uh, two blumhouse movies right there oh yeah two in a row blumhouse uh yeah both yep. blumhouse in the bottom tier of the poopy how about the old visit from m night shumalan uh, I will say uh, I I liked it for what it was. I I did enjoy. Um, it was kind of like a return to formula for M Night, and I feel like he was having fun doing this movie, and you could tell like it actually translated on on camera really well. That he like he was really interested in the story, and he was trying to do, and he was doing his best to tell something original, but trying to keep away from the the tropes. Uh, I put it pretty rad. I don't. I think it's a pretty rad fucking movie to be honest with you. Um, and I, you know, again, Imai Shalaman is one of those directors that have, has got the worst rap ever in Hollywood, just because he got he got pulled into this. You got to have a twist ending, a twist titty ending, in every movie you do because the Sixth Sense was so incredible, and that just kind of fucked his career up a lot. I mean, he did well even after that, but I'm saying like, if people like shit on him a lot harder if it didn't have like this goddamn philosophical amazing intellectual ending that just really spun the top of the earth open and said, do you know who you are? If it didn't have that, then he's a shitty director. So I feel like the visit was a, it's not a, it's not by any stretch of the imagination, uh, like a gold winning Emmy award winning uh, Oscar in horror movies, but it's still, I like it, dude. I think it's pretty rad. I enjoyed it as well. I think it had amazing scares in it. That dad, when he puts that doo doo diaper in that kid's fucking face, I, that is, that, I love that scene because that kid needed to have his mouth full. His mouth was already full of shit, and he should have been swallowing it. Literally, yeah. yeah. 
that little kid doing his raps almost ruined the movie for both of us. Like, I think we saw this one together, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. We and we both walked out like, God, I wish that kid would have shut the fuck up. I wish he had died. Um, I wish that he had been buried with that shit diaper around his face and like suffocated with it. And the sister was awful too. She's like, I'm a filmmaker. It's like, shut, you're 12. Shut the fuck up. Uh, I do the- TikToks every day. <laughs> do you know how hard it is to work a ring light? It's called art, Steven. Um, but yeah, she's definitely, and, and that character has definitely got an OnlyFans today, um, but like not a good one. Like one of the, like the, uh, hey, I'm in the Walmart dressing room um, with seven viewers. Um, I, I don't know why I went there. That's weird to say. I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. Uh, I, I, I like the visit though. I think it's got some good moments of horror in it. And like you said, this is a perfect way to explain it. Return to form for M. Night. He put out a fucking crowd pleaser and he needed one so bad at this point in his career. Uh, and I feel and like I, this is actually something that could be like you could this could realistically happen like in some i mean of course there would have to be certain pieces that would fall but i think so I feel too. like something like this is like why it's so scary is like it could potentially happen especially in the boonies out of nowhere and like i i don't know it, it, i liked it i'm with you dude i i do think it could happen i do i do i do i think it was, it was fucking good so i'm gonna put it in pretty rad it's as like well little boy from uh, angels in the outfield it could happen it could happen it could happen <laughs> um as far as the visit it, i'm losing i got so many windows open here the visit's going to go to pretty rad for jay and mythile now that's a blumhouse film i do believe it was a blumhouse film which am i i'm pretty sure like put up the money for it himself oh shit speaking of blumhouse i know they don't own the property more do like listen to this i had a thought while i was pooping on the toilet earlier today it was what if what if and i know people are gonna be like all right dude we're trying to do found footage shit, but listen just listen let's touch the tips for just a second, what if William Sadler was cast as the new Sheriff Brackett in a in a Halloween movie? Yes, we do. William Sadler I, as Sheriff I, Brackett. I feel like he's yes. he's seventy two years old. And it's I, excellent, I, I, dude. Yeah, it's most excellent. Excellent, excellent. Mm, yeah, dude. I mean, for real, William Sadler is a great actor. Like he's got the comedy chops, obviously, but he's also people forget how great of a villain he was and how great of like just an overall like versatile actor and i feel like playing like the old like like sheriff of, of haddonfield like that's seen a lot of shit kind of like grizzled a little bit but he's not but he's still like carefree because you know it's a small town and nothing really happens i feel like william, william sadler with the daughter angle would be great yeah, I, I also just want to throw out there real quick. I fucked up that poll, and I'd like to apologize. Uh, I have to restart the poll because I put that the movie was Troll. The movie is Troll Hunter. Oh. <laughs> um, and I'm going to restart the poll right now. And I'm going to apologize. And if anybody wants to come over and spank me um, for that, then you're welcome to, or just in general. Hold on. I got to uh, order something. I just got an alert that Wrangler Authentic Jeans are on sale. Oh. From Amazon. You know, I've never worn a pair of Wranglers. Not Holy, since I was a, a child. Oh, dude, it's funny. Red Cat Men's Relaxed Fit Jeans. U.S. says normally seventy fourteen, but on sale for twenty thirty eight. They're probably made of paper. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, you got to be careful with that sort of thing. I get all my clothes at like Marshalls, so like sometimes you'll buy them and like one leg will be like four inches shorter than the other. But that. you're getting a good deal. Uh, we got T- deal. We, uh, TJ Maxx just opened up in my town. I can't wait. To Those go. are good. Yeah, TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. I don't think I've ever been in a TJ Maxx except in the mall once. All my hats come from a TJ Maxx Marshalls. They have, oh, they have like all the Hurley shit cheap. You go on vacation, you go to like a surf store, and they're selling the Hurley shirts yeah, for like thirty dollars. They, they, like, they got different jeans. Yeah, yeah, they got different jeans. I, you, you just got to go on the right day. It's like one of those things. Like they won't have anything one day, and then the next day you'll find some jeans for like seventeen, twenty bucks. I need like, get like the, I need to get the boot cut relaxed fit. Those are my favorite. I can't believe you still wear boot cut jeans. That's that's some uh, <clears> that's some that's some that's some outdated shit right there. I mean, unless you have big boots on. Like you I, can't do have, boots, I, I do have big boots on tennis shoes, Jay. I wear. Got, I I have. I got some new boots. Outs. I got some new boots. Yeah, I love oh, them, and I boots? and I still cut oh. the sides of them to make them flare out even more. No, I'm thinking of getting some pants and like cutting them like like we used to back in the day as well. It's just cutting the whole bottom. I, do I, I do that with every pair of jeans I've got. I literally cut the the, the bottom hems to make oh, them yeah. flare out more over the boot because it. Looks I respect cool. it. I do respect it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe my um, hero is Travis Tritt. Fuck you for making me feel bad. <laughs> Oh, me in heaven in Texas. How about Oliver Gonzalez, who says, does Kim K and Ray J found footage make the list? Uh, I never saw that. I I didn't see that one. Ray J is the guy. Did he do the Q-tips? No, that's Q-tips. I don't know. I didn't didn't see that one. I've seen a lot of found footage in, in that field, but I didn't see that one. I will not stand for any slander against Travis Barker's wife. 
Is it Kim? Is that the one he's with? I don't know. Who gives a shit? Isaac Halverson says, but she was like Jay's ex. Maybe they are kin. Maybe they're kin. Maybe they, no, he said it very, uh, like, church-like. Maybe she was like Jay's ex. Maybe they, they are kin. No. <laughs> uh, I, uh, what? I'm not, I, I wasn't, no, I wasn't related to her. Just because we're from Kentucky. <laughs> I, I, have we ever checked? That's all I'm saying. Have we ever checked? No. I Me guarantee either. you. I guarantee My dad you. did that whole thing. My dad did that whole, like, uh, uh, like ancestral line. Oh yeah, and well it's it's definitely not that because she's her family was from like fucking England or some shit. Oh. Well, uh, my my lineage I don't want to fucking know because one thing I do know about my lineage is that I come from literally the white and wonderful whites of West Virginia. That is true story. We watch the documentary. Well, the the last names of some folks <laughs> in there were the last names of some of my family members who do come from West Virginia, and it was fucking haunting, and I'm never going to be able to get over it. My so. lineage comes from the proud Native Americans, the Apaches and the Cherokee. <laughs> I'm not shitting with you. My fucking great grandmother was like full on blood fucking uh, Cherokee Indian. I mean, can well, you yeah. tell by this wonderful complexion? I mean, obviously, you can't look at me and be like, that guy's not Native American. I am. To uh, me, it's your taste in music that lets me know. Yeah, I love Savage that Garden was definitely. Yeah, that's totally what they would play around, uh, you know, at the, at the Cherokee Nation meetup. They would do yeah. that when they went around the, t- uh, the fire. <laughs> Truly, Jake Madly, Jake Deeply was what they all did together when they had the talking stick. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, but my, but my, my, uh, on my mom's side, the, uh, on my mom's side, it was all uh, Indian shit. And then I never met my real grandfather, my actual grandfather. So I don't know who the fuck. That, where, I well, don't know. It's, it's weird because, like, while my mom's side of the family is literally the white and wonderful whites of West Virginia from that documentary, uh, on my dad's side of the family, they come from like, germany and like europe and shit like that and like fancier places so like i have the weirdest mix in me of all time i'm really scared to look at my lineage i am i think we're all um, mutts we're yeah all definitely mutts. and those are the best dogs too that's the kind of dog you want to get you want to get a mutt you want some mm-hmm. fucking surprises mm-hmm. in your day you know sure. um michael parton says grave encounters 2 is sucks my butt steve but another part of me thinks it's an all-timer mainly because you guys are. hey right. thanks michael man that's really nice of you thank you that's sweet uh, but I you know what? Listen, story. to be fair, I don't think Grave Encounters Two is as bad as people remember it. If you watch it back to back, like you got you got to watch Grave Encounters One and then immediately watch Grave Encounters Two. And if you do that, it's not as bad. If you watch Grave Encounters Two's by itself, right. like I feel like um, it grew on me. Grave Encounters Two actually grew on me a little bit. It's not Grave Encounters One is superior in all levels: storytelling, acting, camera work, all that stuff. Superior in all levels, but. Grave Encounters 2, for and to its credit, it didn't do that terrible of a job because Grave Encounters was such a juggernaut of an indie, indie film doing very well. It was hard for it to follow up, but I watched it, and I used to feel exactly like you, Michael, I, but I watched it um, like two years ago recently. Like I watched Grave Encounters 1, went right to Grave Encounters 2, and I'm like, I enjoyed myself. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I, I, I never watched it after that first night. Um, but I do remember going like, there's some cool stuff in here. I just, it's not what I expected. Expectations. You got to go back and watch it. It's not yeah, bad. I should, it's really not I should bad. Do that. Hey, we should do a commentary. That'd be fun. Hey, we should do a commentary for the Patreon. That'd be fun. I, I, I thought we, uh, didn't we? I think well, we, did we didn't that. Jay. We fucking did. You, fa- right? you better stop you, deleting fucking commentaries and say we didn't you, do them. You, you, <laughs> you assumed and you made an ass out of you and me because assumption is the ah, fuck. I fucked up. What is no, it? No, assumptions are all the, the mother of all fuck ups because you make an ass out of you and me. Yeah, assumptions are the mother. God, of I gotta all do it for you too. You didn't even say it right. Maybe man. if you didn't lean over to try and salt it, you would have killed the deer. <laughs> Daniel Flora says Jay's Halloween decorations in the back looks like he's in Halloween Six Cult of Thorn with all them candles. Yeah, Are those not, real candles? By the way, you're not no, actually. Using no, dude, no, no. It's, it's a, like my wife did this. It looks like it looks like she was the manager at Kmart and she got all the fucking like clearance sale stuff. And she's I like, see. "Oh, this would be cute." I didn't want to do anything for the background. I was just gonna keep it the way it was with you know blood sport because you know it's blood sport. And then she's like, "Oh, I changed it up." I did that. I was like, "Okay." I appreciate what she did. I know that you don't, but I do. I just want to say, April, I appreciate you. She's and not, all the ways she that doesn't, she, doesn't she doesn't watch right? the channel anymore. So oh, she okay. Know. Well, just tell her I said that. Uh, right? Yeah, I know. Well, for uh, sure. We need, we need her to drive us uh, around on Sunday, I know. So yeah, I know. That's, to... all, that's all I use her for anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't want to be like, I swear to God, like new people ever come here. I love my wife. I, don't get me wrong. As soon as like, God, he treats his wife like fucking shit. For real. 
<laughs> Joe Valentine says, bad day at work, and I got a bad head cold. I need this. Thank you. Hey, we need you. Hey, thank you, Joe. I hope you feel better, man. It's the worst. Take some ibuprofen. Hey, dude, just got just got over cold myself. Uh, didn't get tested for COVID, so I'm probably gonna give COVID to everyone at Scarefest. Um, but what I'm kidding. I'm I God, actually did dude. COVID. Test. I got a fucking COVID test. It was a joke. All right, I went to the fucking shit hole. It don't matter. Care. COVID ain't real anyway. You fucking goddamn Democrat <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> it's a goddamn lie. Uh, I did. I went to this fucking shit hole uh, place inside of, uh, the grocery store, and I swear to God, I, I I get so mad every time you go there. I'm like, I'm like, I'm just gonna go because we have Scarefest coming up and if i have covid i need to know and also if i need to get an antibiotic i can just nip this shit in the bud it's coughing up shit and all that stuff and i went in there and she literally fucking comes in there and it's like a physics uh, uh physician's assistant's fucking ta like down the down the line it's probably it's probably she probably doesn't even go to fucking you go? high school uh just the, the little place inside kroger so you, you know, got a pharmacy here. tech that came out to you no, it was, it, she was actually a phys physician's assistant, oh. but they don't act like it. Oh, because she was uh, a woman. I guess she didn't get the fucking. No, it's not that, you. Jay. And she carried her, her dirty shoes, and she's like, "Uh, so do you want like a do you want like a COVID test or something?" I was like, "You're the fucking doctor. You tell me what I need. Oh, I'll give you my a... symptoms, and you fucking tell me what to do." Uh, it's yeah, a call to one eight hundred number, you know, and they're all like, "Turn me on, baby," and we're like, "We paid you to turn us on. What the yeah. fuck?" She's like, "You got to get me started." I'm like, "I'm paying by the minute." That's a true story that happened. Hey, can you just get the home? We were fifteen. What? Can you just get the home testing kit? Yeah, but I, I wanted to see if I needed antibiotics, and she was like, "Well, until you've had it for plus ten days, I can't really give you anything." And then she tried to fucking order me an inhaler. I'm like, "I'm not that fucking sick. I'm not going to pay a hundred dollars for a goddamn inhaler. You won't even give me a goddamn antibiotic." You should have taken but, anyway. The inhalers like help your fucking lungs, dude. They open your shit I, up. I, I wasn't that bad. I'm fine. I got over it. I'm good now. I'm good now. Every once so in a while, I'm like, everybody oh, knows that. Well, you go to Scarefest, stay away from Mike. The motherfuckers. No, got I got tested for COVID <laughs> and strep and the flu, and I'm clean. I'm clean, and also my dick is really fresh. Um, ask my right wife; back. she'll tell you. She'll fucking vouch for me. You guys can all touch my dick, right, Kate? No, it's clean. Ah! It smells like Dove soap. Gross. She said. She said huge. Sound like <sighs> she said. She said huge is what she said. Thank you, Renee. Appreciate that hey, very thanks, much. Renee. You do look like you're disappointed in me for not doing my homework uh, in your picture, but we do appreciate it. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. uh, and we're sorry for not getting that done in a timely fashion. What Renee meant to say was, hey, motherfuckers, my birthday is Halloween. Can I get a shout out from Dr. Loomis and Mike, your choice of character? Ooh, I get to choose. Wish I could give more, but currently laid off from Chrysler. Broke as a joke. Hey, hey don't, don't that's, you fucking, Renee. You that's all right. right. You don't have to give us nothing. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, though, Renee. That sucks. For real. I uh, hope you find a new a new thing for yourself soon. <clears throat> I worked at, uh, I, I didn't work uh, at Chrysler. I, I, I worked at a factory where I was making uh, for Chrysler. I made their little, um, the little uh, vent things for the air conditioner. Uh, Vince, I made that. I made that shit. I got fucking Cool good. story, bro. Yeah, bro, it is. Why don't you go suck a dick on a fucking like Grand Canyon while you jump off of it? I was, it's called relating, you motherfucker. Do I have to wait till you finish until I jump? No, I want you to do it while you're jumping. And think that you're yeah, safe come with me there. I, 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 you, you you think think I, like when you think you're safe and you pull your parachute, it actually doesn't work and you just plummet straight the fuck down. But do you do you think I, I can keep your dick in my mouth until we hit the ground? No, because I'm not coming with you. You can suck so, it before you jump. Do you think then, if we jumped off the Grand Canyon together, I could make you come before we hit the bottom? Yeah, because I think that the terror of dying fear. would like force everything out of your body. Poop, pee, <laughs> cum, everything. <laughs> I think that you just like leak everything. <laughs> I never thought that you guys think that like as you're about to die, you just leak everything out, everything, all your pores. Definitely it just not comes come. out. You cry, no. you poop, you pee, you come. You don't come. You don't come. You I'm might. Do Depends nah. on what the act was. But anyway, uh, yeah, for sure. Go ahead, let Mike. But Mike, what do is do your character. Uh, I'm gonna go with Christopher Nolan. You know. Um, so, um, Renee, my name is Christopher Nolan, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday on Halloween. I hope you see my movie Oppenheimer. If you had a dick, I would cast you in it because we casted every man known to man in Oppenheimer. But what I'd like to give to you for your birthday, because my name is Christopher Nolan, is the, a Dark Knight a copy of the Dark Knight on DVD because it's my magnum opus. I don't make superhero films. It's actually a crime film with a deep underground belly of darkness inside of it. But first and foremost, I'd like to take you by a Taco Bell and give you a, a, a toasted ch a chalupa from Christopher Nolan. A toasted ch a chalupa 
for you from me, Christopher Nolan. Yeah, I think we got it. Sounds like shit. Shut up! You're welcome. God damn, are you it's ASMR? Are you doing Christopher Nolan? Why are you playing with your ear? What is Toasted this? Toasted cheddar chalupa. No, the only toasted cheddar shit that's coming Nolan. out is the goddamn infection from your asshole. It's called a yeast <laughs> infection. You should get that shit checked out. Anyway, Renee, uh, happy birthday to you. I'm sorry about your job on Halloween. Uh, Halloween is a shitty day. Nobody likes it. Uh, I don't know why people celebrate it with candy and bullshit, because obviously it's celebrating paganism. It's disgusting. Motherfuckers run around with goddamn treat bags and saying, give me candy while I celebrate and suck the devil's dick. It's disgusting. And I'm sorry that your parents chose to consummate and that you were born and spit out on the day of the devil. But anyway, I hope you have a good birthday and find a new job. Happy birthday, Renee. Is that born spit out on the day of the devil? Dude, tell me that wouldn't be a great opening line in a fucking like rock album, like Megadeth. Born and spit out on the day of the devil. <laughs> oh, God, that's fucking hilarious. <coughs> oh, Nighttime said, I just zippered my balls and started screaming like Dr. Loomis at the very end of Halloween 6, cursing Michael Myers. <laughs> Jay? Ah, no, no, I know what you're ah, ah, no. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, dude, because I, I, I'm, I'm like listening to it in my head. I'm not going to do that shit, but I know what you like when the mask is laying on the floor and, like, and Michael's not there. <laughs> yeah, dude, that would totally make you have a Loomis scream. If you if you zippered your balls up, like I couldn't even imagine. I don't know. I've never zipped my balls all the way up like they did in the, in, in, uh, in there's something about Mary. I've never had like obviously where you but I've 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 pinched it. Just the piece of it is it? Yeah, but I mean, I like that scene. And there's something about Mary where he has it all the way fucking zipped up. Like, can you imagine your sack, your sack skin, in between the teeth of your zipper? God damn! And you know, and there's no way. There's no. You have to, what they did. I know people like, oh, that was a little over the top. They had to call the fire department. You gotta call God and the fire department because now you're gonna get that. Up. You're gonna slowly unzip your skin. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as you zip it up, you're like, oh. I must dude, call God. Dude, it, yeah, your fucking heart. You know, like, you know, how, like you, like something happens. You know, like your heart would like. I, I do. I yeah. couldn't. Oh my God. Those areas, those areas bleed so quickly too. They bleed so easily, like the tiniest thing, and you're just like, oh God, I'm gonna pass out on the. You know, I haven't I mean, done it in a while though, because you learn quick. But I, yeah, you, do. you have zipped. Yeah. But like, but if you're maybe like on a urinal and you're trying to hurry up, when you get yeah. that little <gasps> tiny, that's oh. fucking dude. Whoa. Your world crashes down on it you. It does. It feels like it feels, it's, yeah, it feels like fucking Mount Doom has erupted. It's, it's absolutely <laughs> horrific, dude. It's the worst. Thank you, Dark Room Reviews. Appreciate you, dude. I like your little picture there. You got yeah, a nice thing going on. Uh, so let's jump back in for a second before we get back to the other super chats. The super oh, wait, thank you guys for uh, showing up and, and, and participating. That. We really love you guys for that. Thank you so much. Right. I appreciate it more than Jay does, but I just yeah, don't sure. want because him obviously to... I'm I'm the fucking uh, landlord of the frat bro uh, society that we run. So... Yeah, yeah. Just don't. I told Jay to make sure he thanked you guys. So don't don't listen to him. Yeah, this is my notes right here. Was in my notes. Uh, it was me who said it. I, no, I said I, I have my agent fax him over uh, itinerary every well, day. I'm not me because sure. my agent talks to your agent. I don't really talk to you much anymore. That's true. That's true. We haven't actually spoken uh, to each other in person in six months. Well, no, it's been um, long, like maybe six years. Right, right. Uh, we do do sexual favors for each other, but there is a rule that no one speaks or looks each other in the eye when we walk in the room together. It's got to be a silent room. There has to be Duran Duran playing on the radio. I want four candles lit. And Jay's only prerequisite is that uh, is that I, I – I, this is sort of embarrassing to say, but I have to dress up like the Red Ranger from Power Rangers. I don't know why he has a thing about it. Because I want to fuck him um, in the ass like the Green Ranger did. So yeah, and then, that's why. Uh, but I, I will say, by the way. Every uh, time he comes, he screams Goldar. I don't know. It's a him thing. I don't. You have to ask him. I don't know why. I do it. not. Right. That's only when you come. I scream Zold, uh, Zoldar. Zoltan. Zoltan. Zoltan the fucking Magnificent. Uh, fucking uh, Gold. What the fuck's his name? Yeah. And. So uh, what's his name? What, no, what's so the good guy? Zed, what's the... Lord Zed? Lord Zed. No, no, the floating fucking head. The Rangers. Malkin? Vulcan? No. Uh, oh my god, dude! What's the uh, fucking floating head's name? Oh god! Z no, it's so. Oh my, you, you fuck me out with the Zoltar. 
I did not know you were standing there. That's wonderful that you heard me say that out loud. Anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's actually funny because it's Zordon, uh, Zordon, Zordon, Zordon. Yeah, as somebody said Zordon. Uh, it's funny. Zordon's our, our dad. Our dad. Our dad watches in his Zordon. Yeah, in, thing in, in, as, in his cave. Yeah, with all yeah. the cameras around the room. Uh, yeah. I. It, somebody was like, "Oh, you guys don't do that." <laughs> Someone's like, "What's going on?" I, well, this is a comment recent. What's going on? You guys used to be in the same room together, and now you're not. So if there's something going on, you need to talk about it or like let us know. I'm like, you fucking don't. <laughs> like literally, we like we the you know things go on without the cameras on, right? Like the things happen in life, but also Mike and I are fine. We talk and we actually got together and we did in-person shit. And we also did in person, we're gonna do in-person shit next week. But it's like this person was like trying to accuse us of like you guys are you guys are being you're doing a really big disservice to your fans. Huge. You guys are being assholes and fake. Like if you're if you're on screen friendship, it's fake. Just let us know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we live an hour away. So, uh, yeah, truth be told, like us doing it this way, there's like we do this two to three times a week. So there's six to nine, 69 dudes, hours of us just yeah, fucking hanging out. Yeah. Um whereas when we were filming together all the time, you might have got, well, I don't know what, an hour a week. Like if we put out a 10 minute video five days a week, which we probably didn't even do that much, you probably would have got an hour of us together a week. And now the way we do this, we get at least six hours a week. So it's like, you know, we spend more time together now than we ever did before. Like what's the difference between Jay not physically being next to me or having his mouth on my penis? I don't know, except for it doesn't feel as good, but that's a me thing, not for you yeah. to decide. Well, I feel like it's one of those things. I feel like some people get like a weird they want they want us i don't know it's like we're we're characters in a in a comic book for them if you're not in the same room then it's not happening right well it's just people just want it the way it used to be and i get that like it's like with bands like oh would you sound like you did on your first album it's like well i i we if we would get bored doing that same thing over and over again you know what i mean not to say we would get bored well, doing that, we but like the in, bands do mike just said we live an hour fucking away uh, we live an hour yeah. apart and then also i had shit going on in my life Mike's had shit going on in his life. There's things that happen. Uh, and, you know, if, you know, this is a very easy, easy, uh, convenient way for us to spend time with you guys and to have the same kind of vibe that we always had, just in a different way. I mean, just because we live in different states, honey, doesn't mean that you don't get two Christmases. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's, it's almost, it's, yeah, you do get two Christmases. And, and also the best, like, uh, another thing is like, if I if if I want to do something that Jay doesn't want to do, then I could do it. And I don't have to fucking try to make him do it. And then on, on, on the flip side of that is I could be like a buffer. It's like I'm gonna I'm just I'm the, I'm the tip. All right. Like you might watch a video, you might see it, and be like, oh okay, well that guy's made a couple sex jokes. Like he may have been absolutely a complete douchebag uh, uh, from a home of ill repute. But then, like, maybe if you like it enough to maybe, hey, maybe I'll check out a live stream. Now you've been eased into a situation where there are two of us. And now we're coming at you from two different angles. Yeah. And you know what they call that? A, a, a pincer move. No, there's Dick. a uh, no, no. It's a locomotive. Trifecta, fuck. <laughs> it's a locomotive. It's a locomotive that people use a lot in Europe. A train. Thank you. Yes, that is correct. Oh, you're getting, correct. you're getting trained, bro. Yes, by bo and now you're ready for it. Now you've been eased into the situation. There's a there's 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 loop. You there's, know what? There's you, a like I'm gonna ease this into the next thing because I feel like we lost the thread. Yeah, what is going on right now? Who I are we? I, I think we should get back. To are you my father? Okay, uh, let's jump Dad? back into the ranking. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> Dad, is that you? Um. <laughs> <laughs> How about Blair Witch? Blair Witch. Where do we put that? Sort of found footage, sort of not. It's the remake, the two, I believe, two thousand eight. I want to say it could be no, maybe two thousand twelve. Either way, yeah, I, uh, I like great it. things, bad things. Yeah, uh, it was definitely uh, Hollywoodized. It, but I mean, to be fair, I think it was better than Book of Shadows. Where Book of Shadows was just like complete. Don't get me wrong, Book of Shadows had good moments in it, but I feel like Book of Shadows was one of those movies that it was just like. We're trying to sell a DVD, a straight to fucking home video. Yeah, they were trying in this, and you could tell they were trying to revitalize the the hype or the interest, and they were tying a lot of stuff back to the first movie, which I do appreciate. Um, but yeah, it was it, there was a clean ish way they they filmed this. Like when I say that, like very um, again Hollywood eyes. I don't know how else to say it, but I did appreciate some of the raw shit that they put in there and. 
some people are always going to have debates about this, whether or not they should have shown Blair Witch, you know, this big stinking hulk of a nasty creature running down the hallway screaming, where's my Franzia? Oh, no, it's my ex-wife. It's not <laughs> true. Uh, but no, you know, it was, uh, it's overall, I think it's, Man, I'm torn between fuckable and pretty rad. I, I, I am I, too. I'm literally too. in between both of them. Let's let them decide. Okay. Let's put it to the vote because I'm right there with you. I think the first half of the movie kind of sucks. And then I think the second half of the movie where that witch is running around like, yeah. Yeah. With her big belly, like yeah. yeah, it looked like every cop's video from the 90s when right. they come to a trailer home. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if, yeah, never mind. Uh, you know, mm. <laughs> um, I, you know, it gave us everything the Blair Witch didn't. Like, and the Blair Witch was its own thing. But, like, when they actually showed the Blair Witch, like you said, should they have, should they not have? I don't yeah. know. But I know that it gave us everything <sighs> that that movie didn't at the end of it, for better or worse. And I enjoyed the second half of the movie a whole lot. Uh, the yeah. first half of the movie was pretty terrible, though. So I'm between fuckable and pretty rad. In the case of Troll Hunter, you guys said that it, oh, my God, I did not expect this. Did not expect this because I thought this was a pretty beholden movie. Now that JRI have seen it. In the case of Troll Hunter, you guys voted 33% said that it sucks my butt. Steve. Wow. Whereas second place, 29% was pretty rad. So you guys. Big disparity going on right there. You guys should yeah. fight for blood in the streets and let us decide who wins. Naked. I, like it. I love it. Uh, but yeah, also, it's funny, the Blair Witch. I. I know again it's it's a controversial thing like whether they should have shown her or not. I always thought we were robbed despite how great Blair Witch 1 was. I feel like we were robbed by not like I wanted to fucking see her. They hyped up everything else around it like I don't like not full on but just like a little bit like like just a moment, just a second of showing what she looked like. And McFarlane Toys by the way, they went off on their own and they made a figurine that was I don't know. Based, I don't know if it was the writer directors that helped McFarlane Toys create the Blair Witch from uh, Movie Maniacs, like series two or series three. I don't remember which series it was, but there there is a at least a representation of maybe what the actual Blair Witch looked about, looked like back in those days. But anyway, I feel like that one scene uh, when they're flashing the the lights through the the trees and they're like, ah, like that shit always fucking do. I love that shit. I think that was cool as fuck. With the yeah, Blair that Witch, was, that was cool shit. I did too. Uh, tiny speed round. Tiny speed round. Tiny get, speed round. Get little, little fat, little fast. Creep two. Creep two. I, I like this Pretty movie rad. a lot. Tubby time. Tubby mm -hmm. time. Mark Duplass fucking kicks fucking ass in this movie. Pretty so rad. goddamn good. Mm -hmm. Pretty rad. I agree, Pretty Jay. That's where yep. we stick it. Creep two kicks fucking ass. You guys should watch. If you haven't seen Creep one and two, you got to get on that no, shit. Man. In wrong, oh. in wrong spot. There you go. Don't fucking tell me what you uh, do. God. <laughs> <laughs> uh how about unfreaded dark web uh I, you know what i would put it i'm gonna say i put it almost such as the sun i'll put it for yes let's, let's you let's want to okay i put it in there no. put it in there i'll fucking do it i'll, put I'll it do it i'm ready to do it here. let's walk off the fucking plank together i'm, I'm ready fucking do it i, like I, I do i i love this fucking movie dude I yeah. love, i've watched this movie so it's it's fucking beautiful it's great it's watchable it dude it is it's almost so such the sun that's why I want to. Dude, it's, dude, those little click clacks when they're doing the screen and they're like, yep. and like that. It's so soothing to me to watch yeah. them work on the screen. And they also brought in the dark web on this. I it does it. get dumb at the end. Like their superpowers are really stupid yeah. as fuck. But great story. I fucking love Dark Fred. And I know almost touches the sun. Like the dark web shit, like the red room stuff. Yeah. Dude, it's such a fascinating story. Dude, it's, it's, so, it's so good. It's so fucking good. If you haven't yeah. seen it, fuck Dark Web 1. Watch the second one. I don't think it was that bad. Though. I do like Dark Web 1. No, don't, you don't. Don't get it twisted. And Unfriended is what we're talking about. Let's go and do that one right now. Fuckable. 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 We both agree. It's You know what? It's almost pretty rad. I will say almost pretty rad, but because we just said speed round, I won't I won't put an argument to it, but like I do love the argument that's going on between the friends and the one dude found out that that his hot girlfriend was like making out and had sex once with his friend. That was heart ripping. That was fucking like holy shit. Fuck her. She sat there the whole time and tried to play innocent and then it turns out that she's a hobo oh, back. She was innocent, Mike. God. Don't you no, know she believe wasn't, all women? Jay. Believe all women. Like, it was just one time. Well, that's <laughs> a lot women. of fucking times, you know? Uh, it's his best friend. 
but yeah, like you got to tell me that this 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 fat kid took a blender and actually killed himself by sticking his face in a blender. It would like a, a blender lot of can't fat. cut a fucking avocado without shorting out. It's not gonna fucking kill him. It's gonna cut yeah. his nose up. It's fuckable. It's fuckable. Uh, fuckable is where I'd put it too. But it did have some cool stuff to it. I also love the oh god that fucking like computer porn shit and not like porn. But like the clicky clacks and the little noises at the computer and then listening to music on their MySpace. Mm. I love it deep down in my tchotchkes. Uh, last exorcism. The first one, not the second one. Uh, I, I'm having a hard time remembering um, much about this one. Mm. Obvi- I'm tough too. Fuckable. It's fuckable. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I, I, I can't remember much about it. I I like, even... Obviously, she looks like Fiona Apple <laughs> and, and, and doing criminal. Yeah, uh, I think the music I, video, but I don't, I, think... I, I can't remember. Yeah, <laughs> but that was a great music video. That was a great music video. Did you I find her I, hot in that? I kind of did. Oh, Fiona Apple, oh god, yeah, and that, and criminal, it was sad because she's like, you and know, that is totally that's not my type, life, but, but she like, was like, I was like, yeah, that was like the save a ho turned all the way on. Like, oh, you're yeah. in a closet, you're mm-hmm. in a closet, and you're sitting on shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i get it i get it there was some, yeah. that video would always come on at like 2 30 a.m yeah, and you're just like alone and, and you're eating cheetos uh but like no last exorcism is one of those movies it's a lot of found footage a lot of bad found footage movie tropes i remember but the scenes that hit 10 hit 10 really well but ultimately i'll say this fuckable tonight has a really really there's some really strong movies for the fuckable category as far as taking deborah logan and unfriended last exorcism fits right in there with those two i'm confident with that i'm good with it all right um i'll save that one for when you smoke because i know you haven't seen it yet uh, yeah i'm gonna uh, go i'm gonna go soon to go do the bathroom you go go ahead go now and i'll wrap no, no, up no, these, no, i, I want i want to do one more like let's do one more quick speed fine round. Apollo 18. Okay. You remember Sucks this piece of shit? Suck, yeah, it's it's fucking terrible. What an awful Absolute fucking movie. Ass. Terrible we goddamn movie. Awful. On a computer screen together, and we're bored as fucking tits. No, dude, because I I gave I rented this fucking movie on Amazon. I lost like fucking two dollars and ninety nine cents renting this piece of shit. <laughs> what a fucking. And by the way, the art cover looks great, and the idea, yeah. the premise, fucking sounds ideal. Fucking awesome. And then it's like it's just pure dog shit. It's like. Hey, my dad got a fucking Sony camcorder in 1998. Let's fucking film something. Aliens. Yeah, yeah nothing fucking happens. We watched it once. I don't remember a goddamn thing about it except for that it was a. It's the worst of found footage in that it's a complete and total gimmick and no. Su- it, it, well, no it's, it's, you know what it is. It's the, that's all timer. All timer. Fucking all timer, Jake. All timer. Goddamn all timer, you guys. All-timer. I totally agree with you, and I fucking don't want to hear any way. argument. I don't brook no argument. Yeah. It's our. Ours as Americans, yeah. it's our fucking Godzilla. Give it to me, Steven. It's an all-timer. Fuck yeah, dude. I love this fucking movie. The marketing was almost as good as the Blair Witch marketing, where you just see the fucking head. My mother's leg, my father's head. You dude. see the head of the Statue of Liberty roll so through the street, good. and they're just like, mystery yeah. movie. We're not going to tell you shit, because we don't give a fuck, because we're punk rock as shit. I love the marketing for this movie, and the and movie you, was no disappointment. The, well, the acting in general was great, and uh, you don't really find out anything about the monster at the end of the movie. They kept that shit secret as fuck. I loved it, dude, because it was it was the answer to Godzilla in, in its own way. Like it was our Godzilla, and I love the fact that you had no idea was it from outer space, was it from the ocean, had it been here forever. I loved everything about that, dude, and, and, the, and the and the fear was palpable. Like you could like it was so cool because it absorbed you into it. Like you could imagine just sitting at home, like jacking off, watching porn. And you got like fucking the price is right on your TV, and all of a sudden <laughs> breaking news shoots across your screens, and you yeah. see this fucking monster. It felt dude. fucking real, dude. I don't know. And the way the way that they barely for the first half of the movie, they just showed a fucking tail or they showed a hand swiping down a whole fucking yeah. ridge. They waited until the end of the movie to show you the full on. Uh, a bare naked lady shot of it, and that was fucking. I love this movie yep. so. And they still haven't made a good fucking sequel to it, by the way. Cloverfield Ten was I great, a, but it was not a, a sequel of, to this. No, yeah, I see a couple that you can do because I don't know. Like I can, yeah. There's a couple of them I can look at right now that I can. Yeah. So take your pee pee. I'll be back. Go touch it. Rub it. Smack it up. Flip it. Rub it down. Oh no. Speaking of which, The Den. I did a video. Hey, you guys should fucking watch this video, all right? Because I put in way too much work on it. I'm talking hours and hours on this fucking video. 
and I had I had a good time doing it. So don't watch it. I don't give a fuck what you do. Eat a bagel. Who gives a shit? But my point is this: uh, <laughs> desktop horror movies just get me a really weird brain boner. Whereas, like, like I mentioned before, just the clickies and the fucking the the calming aura of the screen and the lights and the little bings and the sounds and shit like that. I love love desktop horror. It's so fucking good. The Den is a movie I stumbled across when I did like the top 10 desktop horror movies of all time. And it's fucking wild. Uh, I won't say much about it except for it involves a stalker and it involves a stalker and it involves the dark web. It's a lot like Unfriended Dark Web, but just wild fucking movie. Wild. It absolutely goes in the pretty rad territory. No doubt about it. And it gets crazy enough. At the end, you're like, all right, this is a little bit fucking too crazy. Like, We've gone into Taken territory with all the shit that's going on here. But uh, what a ballsy little movie. I love it. The Haunting of Hell House. Not The Haunting of Hell House. Just Hell House LLC. This is a movie that a Patreon requested that I reviewed uh, a while back. Never heard of it. And apparently they have fucking, they have a sequel and then they have another fucking movie coming out. Right? For Hell, Hell House LLC. It was one of those movies that was really low budget really fucking low budget but they're putting together this this group of people putting together a haunted house but the haunted house place that they got's actually fucking haunted and the fucking clown designs like move around and there's this whole mystery behind what happened like one night at the haunted house and there's just footage of people running out and screaming and people were dying and like it's just big it's a whole lot of a whole lot of shit going on there's some bad acting in it for sure there's some really broken stuff in it for sure but the scares and that's where the found footage category really pays its dividends. Like you might have to sit through a bunch of fucking wow, you know, like fucking wavy inflatable arm inflatable tube man shit. You might have to sit through a bunch of bad acting. You might have to sit through some horror tropes. But where found footage really stands out and does its fucking dark deeds is that there is hope that at some point in a found footage movie, it can truly fucking scare you. And not like a clean fucking conjuring jump scare, but something like, oh my God, that felt faces of death real. And the, the last 20 minutes may have sucked ass. And I felt like I was eating a hot dog in a flea market. But for that one moment, you made me feel like this was real. And Hell House is the best at that, which is why I would stick it as well in pretty fuckable i'm gonna go with fuckable on that one uh it had moments but as and the only reason i'm doing this is because fuckable's doing great taking deborah logan unfriended last exorcism all movies i enjoy um that's where i'm gonna put hell house i'm probably gonna catch shit for that because i know people fucking love hell house i know that they do um oh i'm seeing a lot of almost touches the sun from you folks in there that's crazy that's wilds and crazy kids. Um, how about looking again at ones that Jay has not seen? Uh, I think we've seen a lot of these together. Oh, Deadstream. Deadstream, this fucking guy, he's got a YouTube channel, and he's this douchey, like, not Logan Paul level douchey, but like our level douchey, I guess. But he's this douchey tube type of dude, but he's kind of full of shit. Uh, but it's the, the one of the directors of the movie and the writers of the movie. And it's it, it was on Shudder like a couple years ago. We did a full-on review for it. But the guy has this Ryan Reynolds-esque quality to him where he actually is entertaining. The character is a douchebag, but the dude doing the role is actually really entertaining and good. Uh, the movie has some great moments in it. It's got some good comedy in it. Um, I enjoyed the shit out of it. It doesn't really have a lot of lasting scares in it. So I'll put it... Man, Fuckable is just so strong tonight. It's just so fucking strong tonight. I'm going to feel bad about putting... Fuckable is no... There's no issue with being in the fuckable category tonight, my friends. None whatsoever. Every single one of these movies in the fuckable category could easily be in pretty rad. Um, actually, I'm going to leave it there. I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. There's just too many good movies in there. Too many good ones. Ah! That was a nice speed round. We got a lot done. One more. Uh, I don't think Jay has seen. Nope. South. Have you seen Southbound? No way. No way. No way. No, no way. way. I live in the Southbound. I don't want to watch a movie based on it. Get off. It. Yeah. Uh, Southbound is it looks cool. very The cover looks cool. Yeah. No, it's good. It's it's cool, man. Like, uh, it's a very VHS. Is it good? Yeah. Uh, it's a very oh. VHS style movie with the, as far as the anthology goes. And it all kind of wraps up in its own way. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but I remember it's one of those movies where you're like, oh, my God, I'm getting sick of the found footage. Holy shit. That was fucked up. I'm kind of getting sick of the found footage. Holy fuck. Oh. What's going on? And they switch it up enough. It's really interesting. It's a I compilation also, video. 
Yeah, it's an anthology uh, type shit. Uh, you, but you know that cover? That, ca- that cover looks like it would be like John Carpenter with like um, Roddy Rowdy Piper in it, like like <laughs> one of those like badass like Ed. Like I thought it was a full movie. I I I, I can see it. I I can see this. I can. I can't, dude. I'm feeling really bad actually tonight. Like I'm Why? feeling real guilt because the fuckable category is stacked with movies that could easily be pretty rad. Like fuckable is a strong ass well, category tonight. I mean, you it just is. gotta go. You you gotta go. I mean, I don't. know. I've never seen South Bend. You can put it wherever you want. I don't know. I feel that way about the last. I feel that way about every fuckable movie in there. They could just as easily be pretty rad. But you know, we're being tough tonight. We're being we're being tough on your assholes. Uh, I'll be right back, Jay. We are at. The point in the night where I take off my pants and scream, hey! Oh, fight, uh, fight. we are at Michael Parton at nine oh one p.m. Okay, okay. Be right back. I can't see you soon. I see you real soon. It was a great party. No, it was. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, okay, uh, Michael. Thank you. Uh, says, wish I could teleport to Lexington and beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, man. Uh, one day we'd love to meet you. Uh, so hopefully, you know, next year or the year after or something like that, you know, as long as we're still kicking around and we haven't been canceled completely off of YouTube. Yeah, for sure. Uh, come see us. Come see us. Um, Colton Candler says, get rid of one sequel forever. Which one y'all choosing? Uh, oh, my God. Colton, why are you bringing the fucking goddamn big, heavy Big motherfucking gun questions to this combo. Halloween 4, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Scream 2, your favorite Friday the 13th sequel. Okay, in the words of Ike Clinton, I'll see you soon. i see you real soon. You smell that? It smells like somebody died. God damn, Johnny. Shut up. Um, I will say out of what you just listed, I'll ask Mike too when he comes back. Um, it's going to be 100%. Uh, I'm getting rid of Scream 2. I'll keep Halloween 4 and Nightmare on the Street 2 a thousand percent and get rid of Scream 2. Uh, uh, oh, you got to get rid Yeah, so get rid of one sequel. It would be Scream 2. Yeah, but yeah, can't wait to see you, Colton. But uh, 907, I'll make sure my thing is 907. Uh, scrolling through Brandon Ferguson, the legends. Sup, guys? Y'all have deja vu, too? There was one by me, but it also had an upstairs club that was 21+. plus. Not the best, but cheap. Was hoping to come to Scarefest, but now I'm not sure if I can make it. Oh, man, that fucking sucks. Dude, I hope you... Well, you know, I'm, don't feel bad if you can't come. Totally understand. You know, life happens. Things get in the way. But if you can manage, for sure. Uh, but if you can't, it's totally cool. Um, but I don't think I've ever been to a strip club with an upstairs. I feel like I was Tony Stark if I went to a strip club and there was an upstairs. Look, you've been invited. <laughs> I'd be like, holy shit. Uh, but no, I, I, I. But no problems, man. Don't don't worry about it. But thank you, Brandon. Um, Joe Valentine, the movie exists. Was pretty rad, boys. It's on Tubi. Hey, all right. I I don't know what that is. Um, I'll check. Listen, Tubi is an awesome fucking. If you if you guys don't know what Tubi is, um, you can download it on um, Xbox or PlayStation. I, I'm pretty sure it's on both. Uh, but it's a pretty cool little uh, streaming site, uh, streaming uh, app. Uh, it's all free. There's no sign up. No, no, nothing like that. And they they do have some cool movies on there that um, that are either extremely old that you don't hear about anymore or something new that might just pique your interest so definitely check that out thank you joe um brandon avery uh says uh, do you want the next halloween to go back to the 80s and do you want it to be centered around Lori? love the video guys thank you brandon um we've talked about this at, at length um i i i personally feel that if they're gonna remake the video or the video if they're going to remake the movie if they're going to if they're going to go back to the drawing board and, and come up with something new and original and unique uh setting it in the 80s as far as uh him killing his sister like maybe set it in when would he be what i would do is i would set it in the late 70s when michael kills his sister uh, and then place the movie, the actual Halloween reboot in the 90s, because I feel like we've moved um, 
it's harder. I'm not saying like obviously Halloween is classic and legend for a reason, but I feel like putting it in the 90s, enough of the fandom has grown up in the era of the 90s, they would relate more. So I would put it in the 90s, not the 80s. I would put uh I guess you could you could do some of the Loomis shit if you wanted to in the 80s, but for the most part, it would be in the 90s to me. And I think it would be a really cool setting, to be honest with you, because you would have some awesome music, the background, the setting, everything. The 90s would just feel, it would just, it would work. I don't know. I can't, but thank you, Brandon. Chris Snyder, RIP to Burt Young, a.k.a. Polly from Rocky. Did he die? Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, RIP, man. I didn't know that. Suzanne Summers died, um, I think, uh, last week um, or a few days ago. I don't, I don't remember. But, yeah, man, it sucks, dude. But, yeah, Bart Young, what, a, what an awesome character. Polly, um, love that guy. But definitely RIP. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Kali Wally. Kali Wally says, just watched Wreck today. And the ending legit scared the shit out of me. The poop ran down my leg. I just made that part up. One of the better found footage movies that I've ever seen. Wreck was really good, but it was based on... Oh, no, no, no. I think that was the original. Uh, was that the original one? Yeah, it was. Quarantine was based Quarantine on Quarantine was the American uh, remake. Yes, Wreck was fucking scary. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if it was a Portugal uh, or something like that. I can't remember where the uh, the origin of that I, I want to say from. Spain. Yeah. Uh, well, they're right next to you. They're like fucking neighbors. They share shit. Uh, I don't Portugal, know geography. It's like Canada and the United States. But yeah, um, it was very scary. I remember Wreck. Uh, I put I put Wreck. Dude, honestly, Wreck would probably... Mm, Almost touches the sun. Is I think I so. You have to put it there. I think so. I mean, based on the, the atmosphere of that movie and like the intensity of it and the way that it makes your adrenaline spike while you're watching it, it's got a... It was, a, it was, a, it was something very, very different and new. But it... it from the Blair Witch thing, but it maintained that Blair Witch vibe to it. And it wasn't very long after Blair Witch. Yeah, dude, I think uh, the reason I hold Wreck in such high regard is because it's very, very few movies do to me what so many movies do to Jay. And that's actually like have me fucking freak the fuck out. Like, and Wreck did that for me. I'll never forget watching that on my couch. And when that camera goes up, first off, when the body just hits the floor. In yeah. this in this apartment building, I was like, Jesus Christ! It just had this dark feeling to it. And then when they go up in there and that camera's moving around and those jump scares, I've never been like a fucking glued to my couch that way like <laughs> I was. Uh, it's not the greatest on rewatch as it is, but that first time, it's one of the few movies that really scared the fuck out of me. Uh, yeah. Well, I also have. Stuff. There's a question for you. Well, it was for me, but I already answered it. But I think Colton wants this. Nine oh seven. Colton says you don't have to go back Col to it, but. Uh, get rid of one sequel forever. Uh, which one y'all choosing? Halloween 4, Not Elm Street 2, Scream 2, your favorite Friday the 13th sequel. In other words, in the words of Ike Clinton, I'll see you soon. I pick Scream 2, but I know that it's a big thunder dick to your ass, and you don't want to do that. But you got to get rid of, dude. You got to either... yourself, pal. Now, listen, Halloween 4, Not Elm Street 2, Scream 2, or your favorite F-13 sequel, you got... I mean, I got rid of Scream 2 right away. All right, Halloween four, Scream two, or favorite, or right, Halloween Nightmare four, two. Halloween four, Nightmare two, Scream two, or your favorite Friday the Thirteenth sequel, which for yep. me I think would be Final Chapter. So uh, I'm not getting rid of Scream two. Fuck you, Jay. Oh my uh, god, dude, it's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm not gonna read Halloween four. Um, so that leaves me with Nightmare two or Friday four. Oh my god, dude, I want to get rid of Nightmare two. Oh like my it. god, dude. I don't okay. like it. I don't lie. That's a fucking stupid question. I hate you for it. That's yeah, that's good. what I said. I do. I was like, he was bringing the big fucking cannon out God and saying, "Put it. your lips on this mother." You no, know, no. First off, you shouldn't have been Ike in that shit, Colton. You should have been goddamn uh, uh, Doc. I'm your Huckleberry. I love bunch of cowards. Too. Don't you want to play for blood? <laughs> Damn it! I love Nightmare Two so fucking much. I know. It's the most and you got underrated. rid of it. Touch I got rid of it. Me, I had baby, to. Baby, drive I'm me sorry. crazy. I'm sorry, Steven. You've got to go. I got to do it. Fuck, that's a hard question, though. God damn it. It wasn't hard, hard for me, it. but it was hard for you. <laughs> well, I'm always hard. Uh, did you see Project Almanac? Yeah, dude. Uh, by the way, I, I actually just watched this movie like uh, a few months ago. Wow. <laughs> did it ever leave me disappointed? <laughs> I have tried my best to try to like this movie, and I have given every 
reason and excuse trying to convince myself that this is a good movie. And it just doesn't fit the bill, Stephen. It just won't work. I'm going to put this at fuckable, but it almost hangs low and touches Steve's asshole because it feels very, again, and I hate overusing the word, but it's very Hollywoodized. It's very good looking kids that are trying to do a back to the future mixed with Chronicle mixed with like whatever. And it just like it, there, there are parts of it that would be like, oh man, that's so cool. But then there's other parts of you like, what the fuck? How would he fucking know that? Like, how would he, this kid figure this out? And I know he's supposed to be super smart, but this isn't exactly like, you know, Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four doing this shit. So for me, it's a fuckable movie, but it hangs low on the tree. Jay, on any other day, I'd get right in there and mustache ride with you. But on today's day, with fuckable being so strong with those movies that are in there, I got to put Project Almanac and Sucks My Butt. We must go to the vote. We must go to the vote. I do. I can't. It does not. It like it pro- it's not that bad. It's probably an almost fuckable. It's not bad. Movie. It's really not a bad movie. But compared it, but, to the other movies in fuckable tonight, it does not belong. You know what in it felt presence. like? It, like it felt like like to be on. And I swear to God, dude, I have tried my best to like this movie. It, it feels like if it was the CW's attempt to remake Back mm-hmm. to the Future. That's mm-hmm. what it feels like. I agree. It had some fun party moments and shit like that. And it wasn't all that. Yeah, bad. dude. And you know, they tried to, if they had gone rated R with the bitch and did Project X meets Project Almanac, I might have been like, all right, we're going to be, we're going to get stupid and crunked. We're going to get crunked out of our fucking mind. Are you ready for this? This is going to blow your fucking dick off. Mm. This is going to blow your fucking dick off. Before we put Project Almanac to a vote between Fuckable or Sucks My Butt, Steve, in the vote of Blair Witch, the audience voted. And the audience says that Blair Witch, 36% is almost touches the sun. Yeah, but That's what about the old-timer? In. It's an old-timer. Blair, no, not the original Blair Witch. The oh. Blair Witch. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the, the remake. Do you oh, think that, that the crowd was confused about which Blair Witch I was I talking don't know. about? I mean, the Blair Witch project was the original one. I'm going to so. revote that. I am going to re- don't let me forget to revote that because I think you guys might be confused. I, I really don't think that. I think some people thought it was the original, just like you did. I'm going to revote Blair Witch. No, I, I, am. I knew I, what it was, but I, I, yeah, if I were just coming into a chat and I saw the Blair Witch, I yeah, would I'm going to redo that vote just so we can be sure. But in the case of Project Almanac, um, you guys vote is it? Almanaca. Almanac, is it uh fuckable or sucks my butt, Steve? Or S's? Yeah, I mean, and the whole Steve. idea that he was able to condense that shit down to his backpack so quickly. I don't know. You know, like there was like, I don't know. And, and like he was supposed to be the geeky kid. But I was like, it, it, it's it goes back to the same problems. Like Andrew Garfield was such a good looking Peter Parker. There's no fucking way that guy was bullied. Hey, we're going to speed round the fucking paranormal activity movies. You ready okay, for this? Easy, 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 easy. Original paranormal uh, activity. Almost, almost such as the sun. That's where I feel about it. That's what I feel about it. That's what I do. It was a cheap, it was, it was, it was a it was a yeah. reinvention of the Blair Witch project. Yeah, it was right. something, yeah. You know, I, I just you're right. you got you gotta you gotta give credit. The guy made the fucking movie on twenty thousand dollars or thirty grand or whatever. Yeah. You got it. It's one of those movies, it could be an all timer based based on it's it's a pivotal movie in the horror genre you know what i mean like it was a big fucking lot of copycats came after it yeah as a movie very simple not that great but damn was it a fucking huge spectacle you gotta give the credit to the actors as an indie film the actors were great yeah dude i still love kate i I really do Uh, but yeah rewatchability goes way down so i will stick it in almost touches the sun uh i'd like to stick my dick in the sun uh it'd be so warm Mm, molten dick it's like that scene in uh, Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween, when that dude's banging Daniel Harris. It's, like, it's so warm. Fair <laughs> opportunity to too. The only, the only person that's ever put their dick in the sun and survived was uh, Tommy Lee, and and he's got the dick for it. That's him what blessed him. Uh, Killian Murphy and Sunshine. <laughs> Listen, Tommy Lee must have put his dick in the sun and passed like the tests of the gods, and was blessed God, with the huge dick that he has. He put so, his dick in Chernobyl. <laughs> That's yeah, the only yeah, thing that would explain yeah, that. He's got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle dick. It's, <laughs> it's like, like a, hey, not yeah. us, right? Not us. No, no I, not I, us. I can't even. I can just look at Indy. Um, <laughs> Paranormal 2, uh, I put it pretty rad. Not bad. I think it, it like, I feel like what happens with uh, Paranormal movies is they, they, uh, they definitely keep going down. They they go down very quickly as the, down, like, down, it's weird. Down, it's down. weird. Like sequels, they get worse, which it makes sense, but I do remember seeing the trailer for this, and I like there. The, the, one of my favorite parts of this movie 
I love the like that it takes place in the eighties. I think that's cool. But they have like the oscillating fan that goes back and forth. I think that was a cool effect. I liked it a lot. Or am I thinking wrong? I think that was Paranormal Three, uh, where they have the 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 camcorder from the eighties. And you know, it's three because that was when Katie and and her sister were kids. So uh, uh, Paranormal Two is like the is the is the um, is the pool thing. Like where the the pool cleaner yeah. comes in. There was the pool. There was the baby. There was the dog. There was the lady yeah. with the incense. Yeah, I still I still uh, feel like it's pretty rad. It's a pretty rad movie. I'm with you on pretty rad. I think it it, it cusps it it's it's it cusps the dick of almost touches the sun because it was really good. It was really uh, good. It, I like. They it had a lot. a lot of fun with it. They upped the ante. It did everything a sequel should do. But tonight we have decided to be pretty hard on movies, like we just have the way we've done things. So I think in that respect. Um, and you could easily say Paranormal Activity is an all timer, and Paranormal Activity two. Well, I know we're gonna get hate on fun. that. I, I know we will, but I mean, dude, they're, they're, like, listen, we're being, we're, like, you can't, being, like, we gotta be careful with what we put in all timer. We've already been accused of like sugarcoating shit anyway, and being gay, which yeah, I am. Well, it's fine, um, but Paranormal Activity three. How about that guy? I now here's it's weird. I feel like this, this is the cult like, one, right? This the is on, yeah. I, I love. I think this is a good fucking movie. I think it's a solid story. And I think the ending is scary as shit with the witch coven that shows up at the fucking house. And I, like I mentioned before, the oscillating fan with the, with the 1980s camcorder. I just think there's something really about this that, that's cool. And it's like nostalgic for the eighties in a way. Um, I feel like it borders pretty rad and fuckable to be honest with you. I, I so I'm in the same boat that you were with paranormal activity too, where you thought almost such as the sun and pretty rad. So um, pretty rad's where I think we should. Say uh, yeah. I, I'd be fine. Pretty rad. Yeah, I think that's where it goes. I think it's I like it a touch more than Paranormal Activity 3. A touch more. Because when too. those old ladies are me in that too. viewfinder and walking, fuck that scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Um, and, so and, I but I, I yeah. Um yeah, Paranormal Activity 3 was uh it got more cerebral and and more like um there are bigger things happening outside of, of the scope of this one plot. And Paranormal Activity 2 was much more like a follow-up slasher movie because uh, Kate shows up at the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And starts snapping necks and doing crazy yeah. shit like that. Uh, Paranormal Activity 4 is something I'm going to say should go to – on a, again, on a normal night, I'd say fuckable all the way. Uh, but tonight's night, I think that it – I'm actually struggling. I think, I think it's, I think it's fuckable, TV. dude. I mean, I think it is. I don't think it's a bad movie. I, I don't think it's great by any stretch of the imagination – but I don't think that Steve's butt can eat healthy tonight if we put it there. That's true. I don't think it deserves like does it deserve to be next to well, yeah, you know what? Maybe it, I think fuckable's right. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. It does not belong with the gallows. No, no, no. There's a there's a Apollo movie coming team. up that's definitely that belongs in Steve's asshole, but not yeah, that it, one. This is the one that introduced the Xbox and shit like that. Did some mm -hmm. fun things, but then they had the witches flying away on the fucking jet. Yeah. Like there, there were Harry there Potter were shit. Yeah, palpable moments in the theater watching Paranormal Activity Four where you went, "Oh shit!" It didn't really have that kick the other ones did, but yeah, yeah. fuckables where you go. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, no, I like this one. Yeah. I just don't. I, I can't remember the lyrics of it. So Do you I, remember I the Fresh Prince I episode? In, uh, Remember the Fresh Prince episode in Vegas where they had to do the strip competition? It was like dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Jump, Jump on, on it. it! Jump on it! <laughs> yeah. Was the no. best. Yeah. I, oh, that in the sunflower episode was fucking uh, okay. All right, fuckable. <laughs> no, dude, the best the, 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 the right best now. Fresh Prince episode is when he was like, uh, "To hell with him!" <laughs> or to, to, I don't need him, man. Why don't we want me, man? That was good. But also, do you remember the one where uh where they weren't supposed to be feeding Phil anything? But like then he he told he he complained to Will uh and he was like, All right, all right, Uncle Phil, I'm gonna go get you some chili cheeseburgers. And he brings him the chili cheeseburgers, and Uncle Phil grabs the bag and he's like, Oh, and he's like, start and then he has a heart attack, and he's like, Oh, what did I do to Uncle Phil? Like, it's all Dude, my it's fault. It's the worst because I, I I love watching uh Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but it's the worst because you're like, that's what Will Smith used to be like. Yeah, no, it's it's upsetting today for yeah. sure. But <laughs> I'll never forget that episode. But Uncle With, Phil, it, I know you guys don't know, and you guys you guys will never know. But my uh, grandfather, or I call him my dad, Big Dad, Uncle Phil. He's literally fucking Uncle Phil, dude. He's dead like an on. Italian Uncle Phil, though. 
He's like well, an well, Italian, though. Yeah, he's like a, he, well, yeah, he's he's more uh, Polak, more like a Polish <laughs> Uncle Phil. But yeah, yeah, dude, I swear to God, he's the same way. It's like because I because uh, I want a goddamn uh, uh, Captain D sandwich. I'm like, what do you want from Captain D? He's like a sandwich. He's like, I was like, no, Dad, you don't have no sandwich. He's like, give me that catfish. <laughs> honey, honey, honey would you go poppy some corn come on yeah. god damn it poppy some corn I, I, uh, yeah it's anyway but yeah, yeah like that's also it's like i don't know like it reminds but, me of big dad when i watch uncle phil i can see that i i, I also one more just one more thing for fresh prince when, in that same episode when he was like they got me eating like vegetables and shit like that he was like all i want is a big turkey he's like and Pillowy mounds of mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I could love that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, how about? Oh, not that one. Not that one. We're on five now, so we are on Ghost Dimension. Not nope. Five is not Ghost Dimension. You always make that mistake. You no, dirty, dirty whore. Five is. Go, but you, you're you're going past it. Go down. I know. I they're not. In, it's not in there. It was. Not God in, damn it! Man. Shut up, whore. I is it the marked ones? Yes. That's the oh, one. dude, the Mark ones is going to be like pretty rad for me. I can't go pretty rad. I can't do it. I, I love can't it, do it. I, I think the Mark ones, listen, the Mark ones came out at a time where the paranormal activity uh, movie scene was dried up, uh, drier than my wife's uh, vagina when I'm trying to be sexy with her. Uh, I think that the Mark ones is one of those movies that came along and did something pretty cool for the series. It actually gave new lifeblood to it yes it was um it didn't really count as part of the series which is stupid because i feel like there was a lot of cool um storyline moments in this and they tie it back to the first one and i think the time travel aspect in this movie is fucking awesome i like time travel either way so i just think yeah. it's cool how they used it I like the movie a lot, but based on the way we've been doing things tonight, I cannot sanction that buffoonery. I cannot put it in pretty rad. Well, I, why don't I will, you just take will, your goddamn ass to the fucking goddamn market and sell your dick I'll for fucking your low dick. ass income? I'll nibble on it and make it hurt. Okay, when well, I do I'll it. Go, yeah, that'll go. Okay, that's fine. But I'll put it to a vote. But in the meantime, uh, the last vote we had for Project Almanac, Project Suck My Sack. Is what the crowd said because they said Project Almanac sucks my butt, Steve. Sixty oh, percent wow. to forty percent. Oh, you guys are a lot meaner than I would be, but okay. <laughs> you fucking bastards! You bastards! No, but it's, but that's such a weird movie, though, right? Like some days yeah. you like it a lot, or you tr like I, it's so weird. Like you watch that movie and you think it's gonna change when you watch it. Like no, no, it's gonna get better. And you've seen yeah. it a hundred times. It just doesn't get better. It's really not that horrendous. I just think that tonight we're yeah, really it's just so... cheesy. It's cheesy. It's really um, bad cheesy. Uh, PA the marked ones. I will give you guys three options. Pretty rad. Oh no, we just it's in between the two, right? Pretty yeah, rad or pretty rad fuckable. Yeah. Uh, so you guys vote on that. Meanwhile, I know where the next one's going, and Steve's butt's about to get full of stuff. It's uh the ghost dimension. Yep, yeah, terrible. Get it out of here. Awful. This is one of the last movies Jay and I saw together because we hate each other in theaters yeah. together you know? uh, at a movie tavern, uh, the ghost dimension. I think it was around Christmas time. I think, no, no, it's not one of the last movies we saw. It's when the new movie, ta movie tavern opened and they had a bunch of construction going on and we went there in winter and we were both like so excited and it fucking blew donkey cock. I was excited for the fact that what the trailer showed that it was going to be a lot more, um, the, the 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 stories were going to be explained like the finale was going to be like everything was going to be laid out and it was a it was just a it felt like a universal studios fucking orlando ride like With like no it was so it was so fake yeah it was like so fake it was like they put you in in a little seat the roller coaster with like you know the lap restraints and they took you through like ooh look at that like ooh look at it like it just it felt like the cheap man's version of Poltergeist. It was terrible. Like it was fucking awful. Like yeah, it, they, they they fully embraced the uh, the idea of sellout. Like hundred percent. That, that thing that 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 portal she's staring into is literally a, a fucking colonoscopy. <laughs> you can see it. That looks like a rectum. That looks like me when I'm staring when I go into a bathroom and all the urinals are taken, <laughs> and I don't know what to do and I have to pee really bad. Shit is get get, get in your mm. hole. Get in your fucking yeah, that's hole. That's a terrible movie. That it's uh, that's a bad movie. I don't have 
Do I not have a picture for the next one? There's one more. I gotta I gotta grab a picture for it. Hang on. Fucking shit. For God. what? Paranormal. Oh, is there another one? I didn't even yeah. know that they made a six one. Next of kin, man. You we reviewed this one oh. and you and I liked it more than anyone in the street. I forgot about it. <laughs> well, I forgot about it. It's it been is like a thousand years. It is forgettable to be fair. But yeah, you and I like this one better than I feel like almost anybody when it at the time it came out. Um Next paranormal activity next of kin. It took it was it was completely outside the stories of fuck. I can't use that one. God damn it! Give me a fuck. I, I gotta like I gotta go back. You know what? To be fair, uh, if we did a man versus movie on paranormal activity, it wouldn't be that bad. It, it really wouldn't be awful. Like no, because we, be we would get we would get we would get almost such as the sun. Two in pretty rad. One in fuckable. Yeah, it would it be wouldn't so be awful. that bad. I would have a good time with it. Uh, Next of Kin is, I don't remember a whole lot about mm -hmm. it, but it was completely separate from the other series. Yeah. It was in this snow-laden, it kind of felt like the last I kind of remember it. Bit. I kind of yeah. remember it. There was a lot of religious stuff going on. Uh, yeah. This girl was investigating stuff, but they had this church in the middle of this thing, which you can see in the poster. And there was this thing underneath it. And then, like, remember they were putting, they were lowering people down into it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that. And yeah, then at the I, end, everything goes book. I'd call it fuckable. Yeah. I, yeah. Uh yeah, yeah I didn't hate it. I, yeah, I, I think I remember. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I think you and I both had a good time watching it. The critics and everybody just dogged the shit out of it. You and I, I remember I having go, fun yeah, watching it. These are like th um, this is fun because these are like it reminds you of movies that you haven't seen in a while and you want to go back yeah. and watch them. Yeah, we had a good time with it. Um, okay, so that's the Paranormal Activity franchise. As far as the vote goes. Let's take a look at the old vote. And as far as paranormal activity, the marked ones go, you guys say you agree with Jay, which I don't agree with you doing. Um, and you should uh, never do because what did you say? herpes. Uh, pretty rad, they say. Pretty rad is where uh, the marked ones go. Uh, okay. I enjoy it too, so just not that, that much. Uh, thank you. Every one of you will have $20 in your mailbox tomorrow. And we and like syphilis. that. And it came and from Mike's bank account that I have. going to sleep with your dad. And it will definitely be giving his address away. So. Going to have sex with a Chinese A chihuahua. Dad. What? <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happening. I saw. Uh, I, I think we. I got to. I got to go do something really quick. But I want to go ahead and. Um, what's his do, name? Uh, Timothy. I, I got to. Um, Chronicle. I saw you have Chronicle. I want to put all timer. That's my vote. Oh, I disagree with you, you dirty For little real. Boy. You really do? Yo, you God, so shit. hard. So hard. You I piece of you shit. Not even close to fucking all time. Are you kidding me? me? Are no, you? Are no, you, you motherfucker. Dude, Chronicle, like, Not it was even. the first of its kind ever with superheroes. <sighs> ever. Have you watched that since the day it came out? Yes, oh, I like I it. To, Apex on. Predator, you yes. are not. You're not allowed in this jungle ever. Okay, and maybe there were some cheesy points in it, and there was parts that I cringe when I think about, like at, like that one guy was like, and yes, it wasn't the black guy, the you know the the fucking what's his name? I can't remember. Creed, the guy that played Creed. But I thought it was a very good movie, and it was different than any other superhero movie I'd ever seen at that time. Period. Point blank. What ever. Wrong? No. Oh, tell me another one. Before that movie came out. Uh, superhero wise. Yeah, none. Found footage. Superhero wise. Yeah, there was none. Okay. So. So I, it set the, it the, set the day, bar. And it had it set the bar. It, it set the, the bar. The first time I saw full peanuts in my shit. Does it make it a great shit? Yeah, it does. It makes it great because you know what? You so? had a good shit because you had something really good that you ingested. <laughs> but I will say this. Have I, you watched I, it again since yes, that Yes, dude. I've watched it several times. I, right, think, I actually believe okay, you. Okay, you I know what? You know, here's the thing. Okay, by the way. All right. Maybe I'm getting a little carried away. Maybe my nip, my nips are like lactating. I don't know. Because Same I love the performance of, uh, uh, of Dane Dehan in this. I think he was great. Okay? I really do. I like the idea of the bully teen. I the and it, it, the movie made me fucking sad, dude. Like at the end of the movie, it was like Andrew, stop it when they're like having that fight because he just wanted to be like his father was a piece of fucking trash, garbage ass human being. His mom was dying. He didn't have that home life that. And I feel like what they did with the superhero genre in this particular way was like if you got real powers, if you got real powers and your life is fucked up, you're not going to be the standard copy and paste superheroes 
oh, I had a bad life, but I'm gonna sure I'm gonna do all it. There are very cheesy moments in this movie, but I like the idea the, the, the origin story of what they were going for was great. I feel like Dane Dehan dying in this movie was dumb because I would have much rather followed his um journey than the guy that they chose at the end of the movie. And of course, there was a lot of uh, uh, behind the scenes situation uh, with the director. He's, you know, whatever. Yeah, but Trank, was that? Was yeah, was Trank. Trank. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Trank. Yeah, yeah Trank. Um, but dude, there, there, there's something very, man, it's like this movie could have been something so much more. And it was just like, it, it's like they let it slip through their fingers. I don't know what it was because they had a great cast. They had, um, they had a great idea, and and for a lot of it, man, the emotional um, parts of it, like being bullied, and 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 then all of a sudden having all these friends and these powers, and and being able to stop selling it so hard, Jay. Stop selling it so. You hard. shut the fuck it's up and let me goddamn finish my goddamn thought. <laughs> Fucking trucker, <laughs> motherfucker! It's not a fucking couch at P Rats. Just fucking stop hey, selling about, it. So hard. How about I'll do my Ted's talk and I'll let you do yours <laughs> later on on stream too. You fucking sell out. Bitch. I don't have to. I don't have to. But anyway, I I uh, I will say at the end of the day, uh, Chronicle. Maybe I just want it to be an all time role, but at, but I I said maybe I'm just running away with my feelings, but maybe it's an almost touch of the sun. But either way, it's got to be in the upper levels of this list. I I would argue between Pretty Rad and Almost Touches on. I would say I would I would I would okay Almost Touches on, but we'll put it to a vote. I want I saw some people in there agreeing with you, so we'll we'll put it to a vote for sure. When Blair Witch is done with this vote, you got to go. You got. Oh you gotta yeah, Bla- well I mean, I, oh, it Blair the the original Blair Witch. No, no, we went back okay. to 2016. Okay. I, I, I did the say, recap yeah, for right. it. All so right. we'll come back to Chronicle in a minute. Um, all right. We'll come, I'll be I'll be right back. I got I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Jay's got a dick he has to attend to. Um, in the streets of Las Vegas. Uh, I don't think Jay's seen The Bay. The Bay is a movie that I remember Fish. <laughs> I remember Fish. I remember, uh, yeah, A Bay. <laughs> it was one of those kind of like watchable but sort of forgettable fucking found footage movies. Again, from the producers of Paranormal Activity and Sis. I remember not having a terrible time with it. It was all right. It was okay. Uh, I don't, I definitely think that it doesn't deserve sucks my butt, Steve, but totally forgettable, fuckable, but one of the weaker entries in tonight's fuckable will go the bay. Okay. Let's lay by the bay, eat some hay. Maybe we're gay. Uh, who knows? Hey, how about, I'm trying to see if one of these J has not, not, not seen for sure oh ratter this fucking movie i reviewed this at work at my job one night in the middle of the night and it actually got to me like straight up found footage this guy stalks this girl and he basically accesses all of her phones and her computers and it's ashley benson this beautiful girl and he like he watches her at night like shave her legs and shit like that and he fucks with her in all these subtle ways and then the ending of the movie it's just like a pressure cooker until something finally happens and he shows up there and the movie ends in this way that like you don't know what happened it really feels unsettling uh i would call ratter based on solely how good the the movies and fuckable are tonight i will say fuckable but it, it's on the right night it's totally a pretty rad movie uh again a massive respect for the movies in the fuckable category tonight which is now filled the fuckable category is filled with movies. So some stuff might get switch a route, switch a ride. Uh, did I just say that? Uh, let's take a look at the vote. Back to Blair Witch 2016. Oh, my God. Okay, so I think you guys said almost touches the sun last time. So some people were confused about which Blair Witch we were talking about. But the vote strongly explains that we were correct to redo the vote. 50% say pretty rad for Blair Witch 2016, which is sort of surprising for me. That movie is very, very polarizing. A lot of people really fucking think that movie sucks the shit tits of the devil's shitty tits. And I'm surprised that you guys say pretty rad. Uh, But I respect it. That movie's got some fucking dynamic ass moments in it. There are moments in this that really scare the diapers off of you, uh, even if you have to work for them a little bit. So I'm good with it. 
I'm I'm solid with it. I think it barely creeps into that overfuckable for me, but I'm solid with your all's choice. And pretty rad and fuckable are getting real full. Thank God we don't have that many movies to go through. Thank God. I don't think Jay's seen The Sacrament. I could be wrong, but The Sacrament is a movie that I think fucking rips, dude. This deals with the Jim Jones situation. Now they changed the names, and this dude seems just like John Goodman to me. He really does. He's not John Goodman, but every time I think about the movie, I, I, I think of him as God, uh, John Goodman. Uh, it's directed by Ty West. It's presented by Eli Roth as a producer. The Jim Jones Kool-Aid story with a found footage angle, a low budget angle done with such meanness and such ferocity. The movie's real fucked up on how it does the, the religious thing. I think the sacrament rips, dude. I love this movie, and it's going to be my final entry into Pretty Rad, which means these two are filled up, which is going to be hard, like I am, daily. Do you guys think everyone gets a boner every day, like on average? Do you think you get at least one solid boner a day? It's really, I mean, you should think about it, like, like a hard boner a day. On average, do you think that happens? Especially as you get older and the blood doesn't flow as well. I, I thank God every morning when I wake up with a with a heart on because I'm like, everything still works. I'm not dying today. The blood in my body works and it's flowing, and I'm thankful for this boner. Thank you, God, for this. What were you talking about? Um, I think that those are all the ones I have on here that Jay hasn't seen, and we are getting closer to the end uh there's one on here there's two on here that jay's seen that i haven't that i've got to ask him about oh here's one that's really easy i know exactly how jay feels about it so i don't even have to fucking ask the last exercise in part two total piece of shit really mad that we spent our time watching that i'm pretty sure that me jay jay's ex-wife and my wife watched this in the theaters together and i'm pretty sure my wife and i were wine drunk the last exorcism too yeah uh total piece of shit uh sucks my butt steve gets another entry his butthole's getting pretty full tonight he's satisfied Steve is feeling real satisfied in his hole. Uh, damn, we still have a lot of these to get to. We really do. Quite a few. This is going to be tough because things are filling up. and filling up fast, Greg. Like Steve's butthole. Uh, the vote for Chronicle. We got to put out the vote for Chronicle. Let me throw that up real quick. Chronicle, I am a dude who likes to have sex as much as you. So we should do it together like birds of a feather. We should fuck in the butt or fuck wherever. I can put it inside anywhere you want. I can call you a guy and tell your mom she's a cunt. I don't even care what your dad wears when we have sex in my underwear. Okay. What? I've had some I just time. wrote a, a hit song. I've had some time to think and process, and maybe I was being a little bit over enthusiastic about my love for Chronicle. <laughs> Did you just go downstairs and have a talking to? What? what no, I, I no, I went downstairs and I had a pee peeing time, uh, which is where all the great some thoughts time come. For yourself. Yeah, and but I put it to a vote. It's they're voting when on I, it now. When I first thought about it, it was an all timer. Maybe that's how I felt when I first watched it, but maybe it's not that way. But I, I do love that movie a lot. Because I do like the superhero stuff, and I liked I liked what they did with it because it was different than any other superhero movie I'd ever seen at that yeah. time. Well, everyone's I mean, it's so so far, it looks like everyone's agreeing with you. I mean, like you you're 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 doing well. So don't pull back yet. You don't pull back too soon, Jay. Oh, then I um, fully support what I just said. Don't, do it. Don't give in to my peer pressure. Just make better decisions with your life. Uh, what time stamp were you at on the last Super Chats? Because now I have to pee, you fucking whore. Uh, I don't ever. Shit. Uh, how about... You, we didn't get to Mitch Jones, did we? Mitch Jones says, yo, get it up! Just want to say thanks for all you do. Thank you, Mitch. What was that? What, what thanks was for the, hanging uh, out with us tonight. That was at yeah. 9.33. Well, thanks, Mitch. Um, um, uh, but actually... Actually, I'm good. I can hold it. I'm good. I'm solid. I'm solid. Okay. I, can, I, I just got a renewed energy in my butt. We're okay. Christian James says, all right, boys, night out. <laughs> boys, night out. Don't know that I've ever been sicker than I am tonight. If I die, I will leave my money to buy Jay real shoes, not Velcro. Thanks, man. <laughs> I, I've been looking forward to buying something that's not fucking Costco related you know, for a while. 
<laughs> I'm I'm rocking uh what are these a Pumas. I wear Puma. <laughs> Thanks, Puma tennis shoes. Hope, hope we see you at Scarefest again this year, man. Uh Dead Side said Jot got all Joe Grizzly with my girlfriend. We were getting freaking when I was oh. whipping it out. I said, got something for you, Daisy. She got pissed, like, what the fuck is Daisy? Yeah, that's kind of scary the way you said it. Like it sounds yeah. like you you've got a restraining order against you. I'm, <laughs> I'm working on a triple Sancho Supreme in here. Yeah. Uh, uh Joe Valton said Loomis and Chalice need to have a random debate now. Uh I think you should let me have sex with your sister. She's of age. I'm a man. I have a dick. She has a mouth. I think Which I should her? let you have a conversation with my doctor. You have herpes, you got blisters on your lip. I have and a your mustache isn't hiding it. I put cortisone on it. It's fine. And uh, st stop it. You stop it, Mitch McConnell supporter. Turn it off. T turn it off. Shut up. You know, I always wondered, like, uh, no, I'm not going to get it. I was like, who would they vote for? <laughs> <laughs> you had thoughts. You had I had thoughts. thoughts, and I was like, yeah, I shouldn't. I, I don't want to get into that. Robin. Barker out of the big slashers, Michael, Freddie, Jason, Chucky, Ghostface. You forgot Pinhead. Which would you feel would benefit most with the found footage approach? Mm, that's a good oh, Resurrection that's really good. because that movie was ass. It was complete ass. It was like Absolutely. a stinky fucking. I wore these underwear for three days in a row and I got butt crust for days. Ass. Absolutely. Uh, ooh, that's man. Uh, well, I mean. I really they, they would work. I think that they work. Jason. Well, no, I think I think they work for three of them. They work for Michael, they work for Jason, and they work for Ghostface. Um, as a found footage, but then you got to narrow the like. So if you can narrow those down to those three, then who does it benefit more? I would imagine it would benefit Ghostface more. Um, especially what I think it would be. I if you guys have ever seen uh the house that Jack built. Uh, it's an awesome movie. Uh, Matt Dillon. It's a great film. Imagine doing something like with Ghostface and in, in, in the same I vein. Recall, it was a horror film. Yeah. <laughs> Jizz uh, in, my in my pants. Uh, <laughs> a breeze flew, it flew through the door. Jizz in my pants. I would say, uh, I, I, I would feel it, it would benefit Ghostface more because it's more of the updated version of a serial killer or the or, or slasher. But, dude, it would be cool as fuck to see, like, yeah, Jason or Michael running around either through Haddonfield or through the woods of uh, of Crystal Lake with the with the, the camera. Um, yeah. But I feel like it works better with Ghostface. I just, I don't, I feel like that would be, because it taps into the, uh, I think Scream is, or Ghostface is transformative enough to be a part of the TikTok culture or the Twitter thing or the Instagram thing or whatever, because it, it's always evolving to be that media um, inspired type of slasher. I don't know. I feel like Ghostface, it would work. You, I disagree with you, but you make a really good point. That is a really good point. I, but I just think I, I like, I like my Ghostface clean. Like I like the cinematography good on it. I Jason's who I think I can imagine Jason showing up. Yeah, it would work there. Shitty yeah. viewfinder and it would look freaky. You know what I mean? Uh, but Chucky would also work. I, I, I think the only one on that list that really wouldn't work is, is, is Freddie. Freddy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said, well, I said Freddie and Chucky, neither one, but, um, and, and it's always weird to me is like, um, and, and again, I haven't watched the movie, but never hike alone, never hike alone could have easily done the found footage. And they, 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 they touch on it a little they bit fucked with uh, it, yeah. in, in the new, and it works out really well. Thanks Robin. That's a great question. DJ dream entertainment who has a DJ and gig tonight at Southbound on the levee. Hey, congratulations. Uh, says, Watching 98 to 22 air WWF on Peacock. Oh, on Amazing Peacock. that I can skip the boring matches. Storylines were wild. Do you guys remember that Attitude Era? The early uh, one. I remember it like uh, Degeneration X and Stone Cold and The Rock and all that shit. But I was uh, I was on the nuts of WCW uh, in the 98, 97 era. I was on the nuts of WCW. Like for me personally, I would watch Nitro overall every fucking uh, uh, Monday night. Uh, every monday night because while raw had like the attitude era and it was a lot more it was pushing the envelope nitro when it first came out was the first live it was the first ever to do a live show on monday night and i, I gotta be honest dude i love the fucking crow and when they started tapping that shit for sting i was hooked i mean it was fucking great and then they brought over macho man and hulk hogan 
You couldn't like, and dude, let me be honest. Let me see if he's my favorite too, by the way. I love yeah, it. well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, dude, they, look, in my opinion, and I know people like wrestling uh, nerds are going to like crucify my wiener hole for this, but in my opinion, in the late 90s, there was nothing, there was no bigger significant event than when Hulk Hogan dropped the leg on um, on Macho Man and how and it was not Halloween Havoc. Uh, it, it bashed the beach when he turned heel. When Hulk Hogan turned heel, yeah. that was the biggest fucking thing in the late nineties. Period. The biggest yeah. thing and then ever. NWO to follow was fucking. Yeah, up. and in the NWO storyline. Yeah, yeah, but I, I do remember some of that. I think wrestling's terrible today. Like not all of it. Obviously, like I enjoy watching WrestleMania every time. I think the Roman Reigns storyline is just fucking cooked to death at this point. I didn't. I, didn't, I thought. Oh, he, I thought he would have already retired by now. Like just because the character couldn't sell. Don't you guys remember back in the day when a character wouldn't sell? They would slowly start pushing them out yeah. of main events, and then they would create a new one, which makes sense from a creative standpoint. You're like, hey man, if your shit don't sell, it don't sell. They yeah. can repackage the wrestler, right? Yeah, and make them like Bray Wyatt. Right, he he came back as the, uh, uh, what was it the the, the fiend, thing, the and then fiend. they fucked that up, and they fucked that up. But yeah. you can repackage a wrestler, but I, I, I can't I mean, help I but feel like wrestling's on its way out right now, man. Well, like I, I, I hope it lives, I really do. But I, I just, did hear, I did hear whew. recently that the whoever bought the WWE like that, um, I don't know if he was like a Middle Eastern guy or whatever, but he like cut uh, McMahon out of the creative control. May not be a bad idea. No, because May I not. feel like what happened is is and again, I, I love Vince McMahon. I think he did phenomenal work in the eighties and the nineties with what he did with wrestling and kayfabe. But at the same time, it's like, dude, your shit's got still. Like you're just relying on the same old tropes that don't work anymore. Like yeah, they see like every time I, they have something that works, like the fiend, they shy away from it. Yeah, dude. This what I would do, good. and again, this is just me. I would go back to the kayfabe shit. I know it makes no sense because be like, well, they know it's fake now. Yeah, but they kind of knew that back in the late '90s and then in the '80s. I mean, people didn't really go to a wrestling event and be like this is real life shit. Like exactly. they were, they were like in, entertained because it was like a it was like a Broadway show. It was like live action comic book characters coming to life. They had stories. They had character. They were a, they, their their persona was larger than life. Go back to that shit. You know, the real world shit. It had its time. The Attitude Era had its time, and now it's kind of like. Like, look, look, look at the news, man. Look at all the bad shit that's going on. Like, people don't want to be reminded, like, yeah, fuck you, WWF, fuck you, WWE. I'll, I want, yeah. you know, like the CM Punk shit, it kind of ran its course. It's over. I just, I would go back to like the cartoony, larger than life characters. That's what I would do. I'm fucking with you. And I, I agree with everything you said. And we should cut that and send it as a promo to fucking the league because you're absolutely Imagine right. we got fucking like hired. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, fuck <laughs> yeah, dude. Write the shit We'd be out like that. Stephen Amell in, in fucking heels. Like, yes, we'll get <laughs> and we'll, and we'll get enough money to have a heel season three. <laughs> yeah, we'll just let them do it. Uh Wild Willie, Patreon member. Love you, Wild Willie. Says the cleansing hour is great. Have you seen all time? Uh, almost touched the sun in my opinion. I saw it. I saw it and I enjoyed it mildly. So for me, it'd be fuckable, but I do appreciate it. I do. I do. I don't want to disagree with you because I like the way your armpits smell. AJ Bro says, hey, yo, Mike, what's your hat say? It says, I'm balding. It says, shuck and shack oyster bar. It's a oyster. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bar with a shark coming out of the bar in uh, North Carolina that plays 90s music and it was rad as shit and their food was actually cheap. That place ruled. That's why I bought the hat. Hmm. Go there if you're in North Carolina. Uh, Adrian Brawl says the Chronicle sequel has been on off, never took it. That's true. Yeah, I think the John that, Cr that Josh Trank, that was the Trankist thing or the Trank thing. Yeah, yeah, I think the Josh Trank Fantastic what, Four you know fucked what? that up. That's exactly what I was gonna say. That is what fucked his career because apparently he was terrible. Like, he got in fights with uh, uh, what was it? Miles, uh, the guy that played Mr. Fantastic, uh, Miles, Miles Teller, Miles Teller. Yeah, and apparently, and like, apparently, his uh, uh, the second, what well, I don't know what they call it. The second director, uh, the assistant director, uh, did most of those scenes. Like he was barely there. Like he didn't even do any like type of promotion for the movie. That's what completely derailed his career. 
So Chronicle 2 yeah. will probably never happen because he burned a lot of fucking bridges in Hollywood. Yeah, there's some crazy stories that came out of that time. Uh, Coffee Lover Joe, I like your name. I like the whole cut of your jib, man. Says you're both great. Keep it up. Hey, hey we're a fucking tribe. Man. Hey, man. Thank you, bro. Uh, Last of Us. He's got the Last of Us, Joel. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I, I I like to keep it up. And that's what I was talking about earlier. As long as you got blood in your dick. And and by the way, if you don't, it's very easy we to got, buy some We got to take all this momentum and we're moving into Friday for Scarefest, dude. Strong. Fucking Friday is scare fest time. Wrong. I'm so fucking pumped. I was telling I am, you earlier. I think I'm a little nervous. Smoking. I'm a little nervous. I'm always nervous when we get to meet you all because I mean, like maybe you won't like us for life, <laughs> but I know it's. But it's also exciting. It's really exciting too. I I was telling them when you were gone. I was like, dude, I think this is the the scare fest I've most looked forward to because like we're having so much fun right now. Everything's just fun and fancy free. There's no drama. There's no bullshit. We're just having a good time. I think this is gonna be the best scare fest ever. I'm just gonna put it out there. I don't want to put too much expectations on this, no. Jay, but I think this is gonna be the best. I want it to be true. I, be I believe in it. I believe in it. Let's finish this list real fast. The McPherson tape. We had a fucking blast doing our Patreon commentary of this. Remember, this is the one where that mom just kept getting bottles of wine. And Jay, every time she would take a drink, Jay would be like, that's your oh, yeah. glass of that wine, bitch. Fucking wino. Goddamn whore. Almost Jesus touches Christ. the sun. Almost touched it. Dude, this is a scary fucking movie. And it was made before yeah. all other fucking... This was made before all, all the found footage shits. And they had those little fucking aliens walking around. And it scared you. Yeah, and but it, it was... It, no, no, listen. It was a good movie. And I don't get as scared of the alien shit as you do. Like, I get more scared of the paranormal ghost stuff. But, yeah, there were some moments in it. I, I'll give it to you. Yeah, okay. We'll put it there. We'll yeah! Put it there. Almost touches the sun, you fucking sluts. But I, I, I'm always trying to remember, though, like people might look at this list, like I might check this out. And when they watch it, like, what the fuck are it, these dumb shits app doing? It's it's low budget. It's like me and Jay filmed it with a fucking turkey baster. Like, it's low budget. Dude, shit. was that the movie where the bitch was like, the, the, they were cheating? The, there was like a cheating thing yeah. happening. Like, there was She's a like, you're fucking lot. him, aren't you? Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, there's a, like, it's not bad. Like, it's it's done pretty well. It, it's uh, a It's a good made for tv movie that's actually scary hey buddy but i got see this is karma this is direct karma i got good news for you the crowd said that chronicles a fucking all-timer 37 percent to 32 percent pretty rad all-timer is where chronicle goes see what happens dane dehan unites us again <laughs> i agree uh, you know what I, I i feel like maybe it was one of those movies for me i connected with um just because like the the guy was like you know you get you like you feel left out. Like he was literally every fucking punk rock song ever. I feel left yeah. out. I'm not a part of the crowd. I'm a piece of shit. Nobody likes me. I'm an artsy fartsy fucking guy. And then he gets these that. powers and then he loses his mind because he's from a broken home and he doesn't know how to react to these new powers. So yeah, maybe that's why I, I, I connected so strongly with it, but I've been fine with almost such as the sun. I can respect. I, I can totally respect that. Did you ever watch into the storm? I did not. You I should. It's a I fun little tornado is. movie. In the case of this, it's fuckable, which means that we have to drop something from fuckable into Sucks My Butt Steve, uh, which in this case, my recommendation personally would have to be um, Paranormal 4. Par Next of Kin. No, The Bay. The Bay. I will put The Bay. Yeah, okay, I've never seen that one. So okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one. Uh, it doesn't necessarily deserve that, but it's fair. Into the Storm's better. Uh, some fucking cool tornado effects in that movie, for sure. It's not a great movie, but it's it's up there. Like as If the Twister's here, it's like Into the Storm's like right around here. It's a fun tornado movie. Um, quickly, quickly. Hey, you saw this one. I did not. I still need to watch Pokeeps. I didn't. Game. No, I didn't. I didn't watch it. I said we should watch it. I never. Oh watched fuck. It. Okay. Well, I'll save that one then. Uh, yeah. We'll review it because I've never seen it either. I thought I mean, you no, I, look, it. No, no, I, yeah. I, like I because I read about it and I'm like, man, it sounds really good. It sounds like what Mike and I would like probably like fall in love with, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, we talked about Grave Encounters too. Um, but we didn't really put it anywhere. Well, I don't. I, I feel. I feel weird about it. I feel biased. We're in it, so we shouldn't vote on it. 
Yeah. Because we're actors. I, but I liked it. Yeah, we are. We're actors. We're actors. We act like best and friends, too. You know what? We're, <laughs> we're, we're not going to. Yeah, we're actors. We're acting like we like doing YouTube. Uh, we're acting like we like hanging out together. And we're There's, acting. There, I see another one right there we haven't done. As Above, So Below. As Above, I So Below. I like this fucking movie, dude. I like this movie a lot. I'm dude. thinking a little bit of Pretty Rat or Almost Touches the Sun. Dude, that's exactly where I fucking want to feel. And I feel like we're both going to have lotion rubs tonight. Because I'm right there with you. I want to put it and almost touches the sun, Mike. I do. Because I'm it's claustrophobic and it's scary. I'm going to do what you said. I'm going to stick it listen, in there because it's convenient I, for me. Listen, you know, not but also because well, it's good. It is, but it is a good movie, dude. Like, honest to God, I know that people are going to get mad about this. And I, I know it's there are some corny things about this movie. But almost touches the sun is like Dante's Inferno. Much when, when they when they when they start going deeper in the cave. Listen, dude. Like it gets all those like claustrophobic, horrific moments. Like you imagine going into a well, you like for me when I'm watching, like it feels like the descent. I can't fucking get out of here. I don't know where the fuck I am. I can't just go in this direction or that direction to get back because I don't know where I am. Like, even if you're like, all right, it's gone on far enough, like, well, you gotta keep going forward to get out. Like, suck my dick, you Italian <laughs> motherfucker. Suck my white ass, ball. Um, I'm gonna agree with you on that. That's where we're gonna stick it. As above, so below has some genuine fucking hellish scares mm -hmm. in it that makes you feel like you're in hell. Um, Blair Witch Project, I think it's an all timer yeah. based on what Get it meant here. to horror. Get out of here. You gotta stick it. No, it also ever... it also was a great commercial for Dramamine. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's yeah. the it's the OG, it's the original, and you know what? The marketing of this movie was the scariest marketing for a movie that Legend. has ever or will ever exist, which ever. is why I feel like it's all because all it was right on the birth of the internet. It's legend. Yeah. How they took advantage of that, legend. Get in there, whore creep fucking ruled. I'm gonna say almost touches the sun. It, it, it must go there, it must go there, and it will live there in the sun for all time. An absolute Ryan Reynolds and Barry type performance for Mark Duplass with fucking Tubby Time mm -hmm. and Mr. Fuzz or whatever the fuck. Awesome fucking movie. Amazing. Watch Creep if you haven't seen it. Almost touches me, but almost touches me, son. Do we have anything else? The Den. Uh, the Den. Uh, uh, the I din. did the Den. I did the Den. Okay. You never saw the Den, right? No, I didn't see it. That means we have only. I think we got them all. We have, oh, dude, I'm hearing sit down footage sounds like I'm hearing like we're like. Oh. I'm actually looking at the list right now. I'm like, what do I want to watch tonight? Uh, I think I might want to turn on. Uh, ogre! It sounds like Ogre from Revenge of the Nerds. I think I'm, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I like I'm, you. I'm going to watch Chronicle. Fuck you. Where do you stick it? Come on. Where, where do you stick? That? I like you. Where do you stick her at? I would rather put her uh -huh. in the ends of the earth to be buried uh -huh. and never have the sun touch the face again of this movie. Uh -huh. uh, listen, to be fair with you, the movie itself, the 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 other horror movies aren't that great. It started I, a franchise. It did. I personally was affected by one story in the entire movie, the vampire lady thing, or the I like you thing, which scared the fuck out of me. And I think that was extremely well shot. And it was surprisingly horrific the way they got the special effect like i don't know everything else about the movie was average to me i would put this at pretty rad but we can't have it there well that works out for me jay because i think based on the fact that this movie made you pass out and b started a franchise of its own it did and it was a fun little like just nostalgic analog trip under the sun yeah and based on the fact that Pretty Rad is full, <laughs> I say we should stick this in almost touches the sun for uh man. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, I'll put it there. I mean, like, right. what like, are you going to move out of Pretty Rad and into almost touches the sun? Okay. Instead? Well, I I can tell you. Um, I think we can move um up to almost touches the sun. Paranormal activity too. Over paranormal activity. Oh no, it's right there with paranormal activity. All right, last vote. Last vote of the night. We're, we're giving it to you guys. We're giving it to you as the last vote of the night. VHS. Do you say almost touches sun, buttholes? Uh, that is no. Almost touches sun? Or do you say pretty read? Tell us. 
Tell us your stories. Tell us your stories. Open up your wheels. books and let us know. Mm. Yes. Learn from my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Colton says, what's your wrestling Mount Rushmore? Oh, fuck. Mine's Stone Cold, The Rock, Shawn Michaels. Yes. John Cena, Undertaker. Mike, your wallet, Bill Impression Gold. Well, don't tell me what I already know about the DWL. Well, <laughs> first off, Colton, I wish I could tell you, but you stole all of them. <laughs> That's a good one. Idiot. No, I, I, uh, I would I would put for Mount Rushmore, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage. Yes. Uh, Stone Cold. Uh, Stone Cold, um, Hulk Hogan, Macho Man. It's tough. Rick Flair. That's a good one. That's a good one. My, mine's going to be a little uh, unconventional. It's just my personal. My personal. I'm going to go with a little bit of uh, Stone Cold. Um, Shawn Michaels. Sting. No. It's harder than you think. I mean, you, you it's fucking you got... tough, dude. Stone Cold. I mean, I look at it like who had the biggest impact on your life? Like when you think of wrestling. It's tough. Yeah. Fuck. Stone Cold. Macho Man. It's a must. Macho Man is a must. Slim Jim, so, bitch. Um, Stone Cold. Macho Man. It's got to be Hulk, dude. You can't. Like Hulk Hogan. I was not that big of a Hulk. Yeah, guy. but I mean, like the, the idea of wrestling. Yeah, yeah, you, that, that's that's what that's what I'm struggling with. Um, that that is what I'm struggling with. Uh, Hulk, or what did I say? Uh, um, Stone Cold. Stone Cold's an absolute. Stone right? Cold. Okay, and uh, uh, you picked uh, also Undertaker's fucking. Tough that's what I'm saying. Like, Undertaker. I mean, I know it's deep. Fuck, you Stone just gotta go quick. You gotta go quick. Shut up! Don't tell no, me that's, all, that's what that's the only way you, you can do it. That way you don't uh, like, get hung up. I really want to put DDP in there, but I can't because there's just too many classics, right? So Stone Cold, Sting, I think has got to be in there. Macho Man has got to be in there. You're right. Hulk Hogan. Stone Cold, Sting, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan. I said it. Hmm. Not proud. And now it's forever on the next. Nice. Why is Colton all of a sudden the fucking Sophie's Choice of the world tonight? What's your deal, I, dude? I know. I feel like Colton has become Montel fucking Williams, and I don't like <laughs> it. I didn't invite you on the show to be Montel fucking Williams. <laughs> this is how we do it. I got to get mine in a big black truck. By the way, I, I love Montel Williams as a talk show host. I think that was the best one. Ricky Lake was a close second, like but Montel Ricky Williams – I did like Monta Williams too. James Jackson, good to see you, buddy. Hope, okay, guys. Hope everything's going well. Have you seen Megan is missing? If so, where would you stick it? I have I've not seen, seen that movie yet. I watched like ten minutes of it, and I was like, mm. I feel like I'm watching the movie Kids again, and I didn't want to watch it, so I didn't. But I hear it's good. I do hear it's good, James. I didn't know she was missing Stop. still. God, yeah. damn. No one ever found her. It's just like no one ever found the mythical clitoris, Jay. Mm. What are we gonna do? It is. It is a mystery. In the case of our last vote of the night, you all voted that VHS almost touches less sodden, 57 to 43%. And that's where we stick, which works out for us both because we have room and almost touches the sun. Yep. And that's where you're going to go, you little fucking dirty whore. Get I, like, I like our list overall. It looks, it looks very good. Like, we did a good job. Again, we only have a couple of times that we've done this show where we've done tier listing where they actually feel good. When, you, when you're done with it and you're like, man, that's a good fucking list. Yeah. Like, that's a list I can be proud of. That's a great list. I mean, of course, and you guys help. That feels like, like, if, 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 if the, um, if blockbusters or Hollywood videos still existed, that feels yeah. like what the uh, recommendations would be for anybody coming into the, the store. What do I want for Halloween? And that's yeah. what it, that, that feels good, dude. I like it. I, 
I do. I'm with you. Like, I feel right about this. It's like when you have your trading cards as a kid and you put them in just the right slots, but like, do they have the backing cards or not? Like you put yeah. the teams with the teams or the, or the rookies with the rookies. I'm looking at this and I'm feeling this weird hit of like fucking dopamine right now that like everything in its rightful place. And I feel good all in around in yeah. and around. The I, love it. I think it's great, man. I, like the yeah. balance, the balance feels good. Perfectly yeah, balanced we did good. as all hey, we things did good. should be. Hey. Yeah. You did a great job tonight, Jay. We did great. Did. And your haircut looks fucking awesome. It does. You're a handsome son of a bitch. You and shut your goddamn you mouth. I know I, I want to rub like your JT nose Walsh from, dick. from Needful Things right now. I want to I want to rub your nose. <laughs> I, my by dick. The way, JT, JT Walsh you. was a uh, phenomenal actor and we're sad that he's gone. How the fuck did this happen? When did you when did how do we do I this? Felt close to you, so I thought I would make us closer together. Is that not okay with you? Is that a problem? Do you have a problem with like closeness? Moral... Do you have intimacy issues? Do this. Do this. Well, I have to go to the other side. Do this. No, go back to the other thing. Hey, what? Okay. Do this. Like hold up. No, go the my way. Turn the other way. Usher. Uh, sure. Okay. No, act like a fighting stance, dude. Oh, yeah. Here you it's, go. Like, it's like moral combat. No, I gotta look at you though, right? No, like, no, it's just like yeah, look combat. at me. Look at me. I can't because we're doing no, we're looking at each other now. You gotta do the bounce. bounce. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Did we ever have a debate? That would be how I would do it. Like do the bouncy thing. <laughs> I love it. I love you, and I love all of you, and we'll see you, some of you, in two days at Starfest. And the rest of you, we'll see next week. <laughs> next week sometime, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, thank you guys for participating in our tier list. You guys are awesome. We love you guys. And if you get a chance to, if it's in your budget, if it's in your time frame, come see us. We're going to be there Friday uh, at Scarefest in Lexington, Kentucky at about 3 o'clock. So, let's hang out and suck each other's dicks. Yep. It, let's touch it and see who's got bigger ones. It's the only guaranteed blowjob you'll find in the set in the state, in the country. And I'm talking about Jay, not me. He will do it. It's fine. If you can bring the extra coin, I mean, we will work out a for a agreement price. for a price. <laughs> we love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. This Thanks, is the guys. fucking best for us. We had a blast. Love you guys. See you soon. See you guys. So, so why, why do you always fucking leave before me and you leave me feeling alone like my dad?